Hello, Good evening, everybody. Good evening. I'm Hope you're well today. Whew. That was a that was a bit of a mad rush. That one. You did well. How was everybody? I hope you're right, James. Uh, very well, thank you very much. I'm on the oh. brew dog at the moment, but yeah, I've just, I just want to let on. I just want to let our lovely, lovely little audience out there. Yeah, want to let them know that I haven't forgotten about cocktail of the week. Yes, that's what we like to see. <laughs> <laughs> so this is um, just me starter. Nice. Let's see. We got in. So we got you in. We got my mum in. We got James Tonks in. Hope you're good. Uh, it's James again. Got me in. Oh, nice. Me, 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 me. Babs is in. Hi, Babs. Sorry, guys. I'm not. I don't usually every brief when I come online. Um, PVP's in. Hey. Tam and Bell's in. Tam and Bell. Uh, who else? We got Stu in. Oh, Stu's in the house. Stu is in the house. Uh, Stu, Chris Tyler's in. We've got a bit higher. Tory's in. Oh, hello, Dave, Tory. Hey, the gents in. Jilly's in. Jilly's in the house. We've got the veranda files. Nice to see we you. We have John. Nice to see Hi, John. We have Fauna. Fauna. We have Cherry. Cherry the legend. Um, who else have we got? Uh, we have I, I, Ian. Pete. I see Pete as well, sir. Pete. Mandy. Mandy. Elaine. Elaine. We have Mr. Vinegar Jar. Sir Pete. Evening, evening, Peter. We have John Walsh in. Hi, oh, John from Mr. Wigan. Hi, Wigan boy. Nice see you in. Right. I think that's it. Shall we uh, bring our guest on? We bring on the guest. wall. We do have oh, a guest. We do. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to bring him in now. The man needs no intro. He is a Hello, legend. Z. The one, the only, Z's in the house. How are you doing? I'm very, very well. Thank you guys for having me on the chat. Looking forward That's to all it. Right. How's it going? It's going well. Um, super busy at the moment, just like doing loads and loads of stuff, which is good. Um, mm -hmm. I've always joked about doing stuff, you know, like I do a lot of stuff, but... I, we're actually doing a lot of stuff at the moment, so it's kind of good. That's good. That's good. That's awesome, man. Um, actually, James, I think you might have to do all the questions tonight because that's good. That's good. My oh, phone. Really? Your phone's yeah. died. I can. Um, I, I can. I, I can. I can message you on uh, Facebook, which I have. You could always load up your Facebook on your screen. Go on. Yeah. Yeah, you've already, I've already sent it to you via Facebook. Good thinking, Batman. Good thinking. I can, I can resend it to you. I've yeah, already, that's I, right. my, I have my phone all ready to go, and then it died. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We've got it. We've got it. We've got it. Yeah, you've got it. I can resend it. There you go. Nah, got, it, got it. Got it. Don't worry. <laughs> there Don't you go. Right. We're organised. Oh, yeah. Yeah. As, what is it they say? Couldn't organise a pee up in a what? Yeah, in, in a brewery. Definitely. <laughs> definitely, but, definitely. Good, but whether we organise it or not, it's always good fun. <laughs> always. We'll um, always end up in a brewery by the end of the day anyway. So. Oh, yeah. Well, you need to after this. <laughs> um, so how's your week been, Z? It's been... Um, it's getting kind of... Um, it's very structured. I, I, it feels weird to say, but it's very structured. Mm. Like, our weeks are like mega structured now. Um you know, like we are, we're working, the shop's open seven days a week and um, Beck and I split like the hours that we do in them. So yep. um, we're kind of, um, we take certain days off. So every week we'll be doing, one of us will be doing six days a week and then one of us does five days a week yep. um, because like, and, uh, and that way we can actually work seven days, which is kind of crazy, but um, it's really structured. So it's been, it's been good though. It's been good. Um a lot of people like wanting to buy masks and things like that um in the shop like like you've got in your background there, there you rich I mean, there he is yeah old pennywise and um cool. he's he's astonishingly good isn't he um but yeah, yeah like a lot of interest in that kind of stuff and then like you know people come in and you hear you hear a lot of um 60 quid and like you know outside the shop yeah, you, get, but, you, get, you, know, you get a lot of that outside well as as we've just seen you can you can <laughs> pay less but you're not going to get anything that's any good are you well i mean as i showed you guys earlier <laughs> yeah. like it, oh gosh 
it, well, that's a tragic um I, I, yeah, it's tragic. I, I don't i don't know if this is like kind of like uh meant to be a play on words but oh, no. but because it's to do with that mask that that reminds me of a very famous saying penny wise pound <laughs> foolish Yes, that is actually. That's <laughs> a plan, yeah. Just that's I mean, maybe we should like fill people in on like what we're talking yes, about. Yeah. I think, I, I think yeah, we should tell the story. Z and definitely screen share. I think I'll, it's I'll see if I can bring it up. I'm so bad at this stuff now. I'm oh, become, yeah, like, I'm like screen sharing. Yeah. Um, I, we've got a question. While you're doing that, we've got a question from yeah, Peter sure. Vinegarjar. Says, "How do you cope with your high pressure life and maintain a work life balance?" I'm sure that's a very genuine question from Peter. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's um, the truth is, it's not easy. It really right. isn't. Um, like, it, in a weird way, um, I, I will say that, like, we're probably doing better on eBay than we've ever done, like, since starting eBay, which is kind of crazy considering we're also doing the shop. But which is it's great it's really good that we're doing we're working so hard but it has meant that um like it, it, time is very precious that now and it's like it's hard to fit everything in mm -hmm. um so we're getting to the stage where we're actually having to organize the fun time so yeah. for example even if it's something as simple as sitting down and watching a movie with the girls and the family like we're actually having to say all right guys on sunday afternoon we're going to watch this movie set a set like a rough time like you know we yep. are we finish work and then so it, it's kind of you know that's not obviously ideal but it, i think we're at, we kind of feel like the only way we're going to have any fun is if we actually organize the fun as well because our time is like literally you know the shop does take up a lot of you know your time and yeah as is ebay yeah it just runs away doesn't it i mean the time mm. goes so fast anyway because it's a, it's a strange time anyway yeah but it it just it just goes nowhere. It's just unbelievable. Yeah. This this year's nearly over. I I know, Amazing. like the fact that we just yeah we didn't really start this year, and then anyone didn't. No one really started this year until like a quarter of it was over, right? I mean, it was yeah. like April, April yeah. if you think about it, that that it even um, became a thing. So yeah, yeah, it is a bit weird that that's the case. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit crazy, isn't it? It's um, yeah, it's crazy times. I I. I, I, I got a big wake up call because uh, tomorrow is my wedding anniversary and I've been married a year uh, and it literally feels like last month that I got married because wow. it's like it's flown by and we, we basically we got married and then the week after it almost went into lockdown again. Yeah. Um, we were like we were there. I think four weddings happened in Lancaster last year and I was one of four. Any funerals? Wow. <laughs> plenty of them Put them on. <laughs> hey, they were racking them up <laughs> yeah um so uh, so your sales are good then Z, at the minute you, yes yes i mean i we've not like made like any videos or anything about it really but yeah the mm. the we've not had a summer slowdown in fact it's just gotten better like month by month which is really good it's um I think like we've been relying on the sh um, on eBay obviously to to help us through with the shop as well because um, you know eBay is definitely the lion's share of our income. So. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah. All right. Do you want to start off then, James, or should we? What should we start with? What should we start with tonight? Um, well, I've got a couple of things I can chuck out. I've got a pickup of the day, by the way. Before, oh, if, yeah, you, I've, if, I've if, we, if Z wants to, just, I've had a couple you know... of cool sales this week. If you haven't yeah, watched the videos, it, yeah. then you know. And then, uh, and then, uh, yeah, so I'll do my pickup of the day. So, um, I went to my boot sale today. Awesome. Uh, mm -hmm. spent 12 pounds and I've listed, I'm probably going to get 130 pounds worth of listing today. Nice. But my pickup didn't come from that. Went to go get my hair cut because I've obviously got a look oh, on point. Yeah. yeah. I, I look I on point. To get, I didn't manage to get trim. my trim. I didn't manage to get my trim. Trim, trim, trim on point for you guys. <laughs> and, and then, so... As I walked down, I went, you know what? I'm going to play myself. I, I, I said in my head, let's play a game. Let's go into charity shops and see if I can get a free haircut. So I went into the first charity shop that I know quite well, picked up a pair of boots, paid £4, and they're probably going to get me £25 back. So looking about £16, pays for my haircut. Thank you very nice. much. Nice. Then I went what? into Scope, the bottom of the, the, the road I'm coming out of Lancaster, which is my favourite charity shop. Mm -hmm. Went in there, didn't really say anything. Then I went next door, British Art Foundation, because they're attached. 
went mm-hmm. in there, didn't see anything, and then I saw a pair of Solomon boots, uh, and then it said, and it made me laugh a lot, it said, uh, £70, our best offer, uh, online at £149.99 uh, on eBay. Oh, I thought, nice. oh, brilliant. I thought, well done. So mm. then I went, oh, I didn't check Scope's window. So I saw a pair of boots, and I went, oh, they're well made. I was like, oh, I was like, if they're six quid, I'm going to get 20 quid back. I was like, yep. brilliant. So I went in there, went to check out the brand. And the brand was a very good brand. The brand was Timberlands. I got these nice. pair of Timberlands for oh, six nice. pounds. Oh, now, nice. if any of you know anything about Timberlands, um, for a pair of leather boots like this, you're looking about 60 to 70 pounds back on these from six quid. So nice. personally, they're my favorite pickup of the day. Because no. I only got them because I went to go get my hair cut. So thank you very much. Very much. <laughs> Saturday Take Night Live. Time. I thank you all because I wanted to look good. So thank you. <laughs> Thanks Saturday Night Live. Well, is, your haircut has has paid for those as well. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Right. Like yeah. A... <laughs> but yeah, I'm over the moon with them. And I thought I'd share that with everyone in the chat. Um, nice. And it goes to show you that there is money in shoes. But don't buy them. Leave them for me. All right? <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, I've had a couple of good sales this week. Um, actually, three three good sales this week. I sold a CRT TV, which um, when I went to my started going to my brother's flat, it was outside uh, in the flat next door, and it had a little bit of paper on it. This little Philips TV said, "I'm free. I work. Please take me." So I took it <laughs> and uh, sold it for forty nine ninety five this week plus shipping. Um, and then my mate gave me a um, keyboard to sell for him on Tuesday, uh, listed it Tuesday, sold Wednesday. Yeah. So, nice. And that was 85 quid straight out the door, Casio keyboard. And then I bought an MP3 player from the Cancer Research Shop in Rustington for £4, sealed up, massive jumbo, colossal MP3 player, um, sold for 25 this week on an offer. That's nice. There you go. So no, I'm some gutted weird, that keyboard's gone. I'm gutted. I'm not, yeah, because you wanted me to play it. I don't. I can't play the keyboard. Honest, that's that's exactly why I wanted you to play it. Your video. I honestly, I wet myself when you were pressing the demos. It was like listening to. Um, if you ever watched Shooting Stars and ever watched yeah, yeah, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Angelos <laughs> Epifimu when he comes yeah. out and he's like, <laughs> that was Richard on the keyboard pressing yeah. all the demos. It was no, it's awesome. In, it's in the video. You can check the video. <laughs> I was like, what's in your bag, Richard? What's in your bag tonight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was, the, that was some uh, good bits gone out the door this week. You had anything extra special this week out the door? Quite, yeah, we've had some decent sales. Um, we sold uh Klonoa on the PlayStation 2. Oh, no, sorry, nice. PlayStation 1. It's uh, if you don't know, Klonoa is a game to look out for. Cost about I think it was a quid or two from the car boot. Um, and I sent offers out. Um, and I sold it for 125 quid. It's a PlayStation mm. 1 game actually called Klonoa, so that was quite mm. nice. Um, and also sold a pair of Kef egg speakers, which which is a really nice. sweet sell because um, I actually got a set of uh, I think I was a seven Kef egg speakers for th- I think it was thirty quid from the car boot, and mm. I kept the center speaker and the rear speakers, and um, nice. we've we've now got a really like you know banging sound surround system. sound setup like amazing surround sound setup. Uh, cool. We've had a really good surround sound amp for a while, but we just didn't oh. have. And we had nice left and right speakers, but now we've got a center channel and rears, and it's really awesome. And nice. we still were left with um, uh, two pairs of speakers. Um, so we've sold one pair for 100 quid, and I've still got another pair to, to sell, uh, which is going to be um, brilliant. So um, so that that's nice. like 30 quid outlay, and we'll get 200 quid sales out of it, and we've got an yeah. amazing system. And you've got your yeah, yeah. for to keep. That yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, it was it was a difficult. It was one of those touch and go moments, though, because the center speaker we've got on its own sells for 120. Yeah. But it was one of those situations where, like, we only paid 30. We're not going to buy. The, you know, we're not going to buy a surround. Like that free are you again? So it's you it's know. the perks of the job, isn't it? It's the yeah, perks of yeah. going out and hunting. Um, exactly. But there's been some downsides as well. Like, um, we sent out a, a DVD combi this week. Um, mm. Like a, 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 which we sold for like eighty five quid. Unfortunately, it arrived smashed. So we had to refund oh, that. Right. And I've just had someone message me saying uh, your description states that this is a DVD recorder. The manual says it isn't. 
And I've just had to reply back saying it says it's a DVD recorder on the front of the unit and the yeah. manual also states it's a DVD recorder. So don't return it yeah. under like, you know, kind of annoying. It's like... Oh, I just, yeah, it does get buggy, doesn't it? Uh, how so. long have they had the particular item for, Zoe? Um, no, it's only just been delivered. Um, ah, to be right, fair, so not to be those. fair, I might just accept it because they've opened it as a change of mind, which means they'd have to pay for return yeah, postage. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I'm gonna, I've messaged them before I do that, just because um, I thought they should know that it is a DVD recorder. My description is not a t not a fault here. It's there. Yeah. You know, yes, yeah, so it is what it is. It's what it's yeah, what it's yeah. on the tin. It's it's it says it. It's a DVD recorder on the front of the DVD <laughs> recorder. It's, it's, uh, so, it's, so it's a very strange reason to to return it, but you, yeah. you're bound to get that because we you know we we've had quite a few sales, like I said. So you know it's been it's been good. Um, yeah, can't can't grumble. Mustn't grumble. Good. No, oh, good. Yeah. Um, Tori's saying, don't you just hate it when your friends ask you to sell stuff for them? <laughs> Not when you sell it. And you tell your friends, oh, you're going to sort of have about this much coming back from it. And they say to you, keep it and put it towards the Christmas booze fund. Then you don't mind. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I don't I'll, anyway. I'll, I'll be honest, Richard. I don't think many of us have nice friends like that. Most of us. Oh. Well, <laughs> well, oh, oh, well right. I'll, I'll tell you what, Z, let's test it. Richard, could I have some of your stock, please, for free? <laughs> yeah. All of it. Yeah, yeah, come yeah. Down. Come down, yeah. pick it up. I'll, I'll come down. Come and down, I'll hold get the stock it, take it away. Get it, get it out for it, out of here. I'll have that Venom backdrop as well, please, if that's okay. <laughs> well, yeah, I suppose. It, it's in the way. Friendship. <laughs> Best friendship ever. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, shall we start on with a question? Yeah, definitely. Do you want to start off with number one? And then I'll... Yeah, uh... I shall start on with number one. That's an um, easy one. Yep. How did you get into reselling? It was watching videos on YouTube many yep. years ago on how to make money. Just generally how to make money because I've always been <laughs> needing money. Like always, And um, mm. I came across um, like this guy called DIY Mike. He's like, he, he, he was like um, in the US though. So yep. I was watching his videos and I was like, oh my God, this guy is like, changed his life in his first year on ebay he made like a hundred thousand dollars but it just didn't nice. i was watching it but it didn't feel like i could you know i was like oh yeah maybe that's in america and mm. then i happened to come across this guy that started making videos called nick and um he was making videos he just started making videos um nick hills and um, oh, i've never heard of him yeah but yeah he? and and that was like a, a penny drop moment it was a guy in the uk um successfully making money by reselling used goods and it was just like it, it was so annoying as well because i'd been going to car boots like so many people since i was i was a kid my parents used to take me you know i've always been going i've always i remember going to buy amiga games for my my amiga back in the day because it was cheaper to buy them you know 50 yeah, yeah, disc yeah. you know like copied and whatnot um <laughs> and it, but it never sunk in that i've been going to this place where there's an opportunity and um but so that was really when it made it real and then um and then yeah it was kind of an easy decision in the end yeah yeah it's nice to be out of work mm. yourself definitely yeah, definitely I, yeah I think it was easy for for me in a way because i've never had like a well-paying job like whenever i've been employed i've never had yeah. a, like a really well-paying job so it, it was really quite easy I, I think i'd struggle if i had a good job I yep. think I'm not sure I would have made the same decisions because, yeah. you know, or maybe not in the same time frame. But for me, it will happen really, really quickly. I was like, well, you know, I'm, I get paid crap at work. I don't mind if I get paid crap by doing this. Yeah, <laughs> because yeah, then yeah. At least I'm, you know, it was I didn't have much to make to meet what I was making in my employed jobs. Yeah. You know, You're not so. working for someone else where you know that, you know, whatever mm. you make is going to you. It's not going yeah. to someone else so. and then they pay your little bit of it. Yeah. That's nice yeah, 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 yeah. That's awesome, you're, man. You're getting a big slice, bigger slice of the pie. Where you get all the pie. Um, I'll have to search that Nick Hills guy. It sounds like yeah, I've never funny. heard of it. I don't know. Who to, I don't know who that is. We can't say. No, I don't think we can say that though. When when we dressed up as his favourite band, Richard, not so long ago. <laughs> oh, is that him? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. God, now I know who you're talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you and know what? We, like, I, it's I've got to say it's, it's it's one of those things that you know when you always are like eternally kind of grateful and you always have that credit like he's good he must have so much good karma like because mm. 
I, I loads of people have started yeah. because because it makes yeah it, I mean that's do, what do you know it, what it is it made it real watch yeah because because yeah. I, I watched a lot the thing is even back well I'm talking now six years maybe seven years ago the American YouTube scene was alive and kicking actually because yeah. you had um I remember watching channels like um loads of channels I was like um Gil Daddy and then there was um uh, there was this oh, so many names I can't even remember now there were a lot of different names that w I was watching um yeah. even back then like I know channels like Bonafide Hustler and um Rake and Profit and all that stuff were all happening around that time it was it was yeah. it was a buzzing community like and there was lots of people there saying hey look I go out and make money like this but it because it was over in the states i you know i'd never been mm -hmm. yeah global voodoo i mean i'm talking like back back in the day there was there was yeah. pickers church there was uh, there were people that have stopped since um so it was really I, I you know and i was immersed in in seeing these people do this because i was like like a lot of people very unhappy with yep. you know what i was doing i you know it, it, I'd been working for, you know, since I was 16 and I thought to myself, it hasn't really gone me a great deal far. So I thought like, yeah. especially down in London, you know, I think that's the other thing as well that especially down in London. So it was, um, the cost of living, et cetera, is so high. Um, so oh. I kind of, yeah, I, I kind of feel like, you know, that I was immersed in that, but then when Nick made the videos, like mm. I, you know, I've, I've said this to him so many times as well. Like when we met and stuff, I'm like, it's it's one of those things where you have to kind of be like, I am just going to be grateful for that because it's like he sh he made it real. Like yeah. you know, he if someone makes it real, that is yeah. so powerful. Someone shows you, you know, it's easy when you know how type thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, like we're all so used to doing this kind of stuff. We're all used to, and, mm. and we we take it for granted that it's yeah. just that's what you do but sometimes you do need to be shown yeah, yeah definitely. definitely man i um, i i yeah. think a lot z when it comes to like i've just gone officially full-time handy but not in this monday mm. and um when i well, <laughs> thanks <laughs> when i uh when i did it i always thought in the back of my mind i'm very grateful that my mortgage is 500 mm. uh for a house that i own rather than wow. 700 yeah. 700 pounds for a flat that i'm renting so and i always think if i was down south and i had holly it, it, it holds daughter, you back would, it does, would I, we, we would were I, paying I don't think I could do it. well this will give you an example um seven years ago now six well, six years ago six years ago we're talking 2016 to 2020 six years ago i was paying or me and beck were paying 13 25 or 13 50 a month and we didn't wow. even have a driveway. Wow. That was that was six years ago. <laughs> so you can only imagine and, and the rent goes up yearly. Um we've yeah. been living up here now for like nearly six years. We've not had a single rent increase. Wow. wow. And we My... live in or we live in a nice area and we're and we're paying like five hundred quid a month less. That's brilliant my you know and so you, yeah that that can hold you back 100 percent. You, you think when i think about it i'm like wow if we'd kind of moved up earlier or you know it, it, but that's just one of those luck of the draw things isn't it it's just yeah. one of the luck of the yeah, draw where you man. end up you know well my wife t who um she's originally from exeter mm. she we met him because i lived in worthing on the south coast which me and richard always have a banter around which i was literally around the corner from him <laughs> uh, and how and how life changes but she was yeah. paying in hove which isn't brighton prices which you'll know as well as anyone. it's expensive she's paying 1200 just for a flat for a room yeah. for a room and that was apparently cheap so yeah. it, it, i always just think to like mm. if i had holly if i had my family commitments i could never do i'm so grateful whereabouts i live that mm. that and also i'm incredibly grateful to have a wonderful wife who's a teacher who gives me that security and also believes that i can do reselling so you know it, it, it's one of those things isn't it it's like you, when people ask you like how much do you make etc it's almost irrelevant for that reason isn't no. it because it can what you need to function will vary on so many things such yeah. as where do you live you know like where you live like you know that was one of our motivations to move up here beck and i wanted to work together um it, you know it's, to be fair it's only just started happening now after all these years we did try it earlier but like it it wouldn't it would have been like a i'm not sure i'd 
be a good enough like reseller to actually do it in London, if I'm honest, to to make the money. You know, I don't think I could. Do you know what I mean? Like the amount you need just to function, whether it's rent or a mortgage, is is irrelevant mm. because the prices are just so. It's ridiculous. Astro- even, yeah, they're even on the outskirts, like yeah. of, of South London and Surrey and stuff like that. I mean, it's just it's yeah. extortionate. It's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. I think you'd have to work. I'd have to work three times, four times the hours I work at the moment just just to make a float. That would be the reality. Um, second question, Z. I think we've kind of answered it anyway, but uh, yep. nonetheless, and I don't, we don't, I don't want to use money as an answer either. Uh, I know things are going awesome for your business at the moment, and hats off to you. But you ride the re- eBay roller coaster like everyone else. What is your motivation? So when things are down. What, what's in the back of the mind that keeps you going and what's your motivation? Okay, I think this is something that we're feeling more now and it's something I've always suspected. I think the more you do, the the more motivated you become. It's, it's, it almost works, it's like a perverse thing in humans, I think. Like, when I think about it, when we were just doing eBay before, like when we were just doing eBay and we thought we were, that was like taking up, like when I was you know, saying, okay, that's my job is I sell on eBay and I devoted my whole week to it. And when Beck was working full time, I feel like I wasn't even working as hard on eBay then as maybe I am now when I'm also being at the shop. So, and and it reminds me of when I was at school, I always used to wonder how the kids that were in all the best sports team, like firsts in the rugby team cricket team they also happen to be the a grade students and happen to be the best at this and do you know what i mean it's like i almost feel like my motivation at the moment comes from the fact that because it, it, we used to think oh our motivation's got to be just you know like you said money or anything it's not it's just keep it's like it's like a self perpetuating thing where keeping busy and making the most making the most out of your time like literally valuing time and that sounds corny but actually doing it is not easy and like I think Beck and I at the moment are like in a really good kind of mental place where we're just making so much out of our time yeah. that we're just doing like and we're, we just somehow the more you the less you think you can do the more you think you can do within the same time like we we're fitting if you'd said to Beck and I just literally a few months or a year ago that you'll be able to fit this 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 and this into your every day we'd be like forget it like they, they mm. there would have been a time like for example I, I did the car boot today this morning selling and you know at the car boot i would have come home from that and been like oh i'm knackered i was just stood at the car boot yeah i stood at the car boot i was up from like was it five six in the morning whatever stood at the car boot and i've been to the shop um and i've come home i'm happy i've got the energy i'm, I'm not even like feeling like tidy okay my brain brain might not be as sharp as it could be i admit that i feel frazzled sometimes <laughs> like that all day. <laughs> but i've got the energy though to happily do this and yeah. be chatting and enjoying myself on youtube and it's like the, mm. it's like the more you push yourself that's kind of what's been motivating me at the moment long yeah, answer awesome, but man. just yeah i feel like doing stuff yeah but no, but, but no, but it, but it, but it, but it does, but it, but it is a good answer, and you are right. I, I've, I found a big difference from going from a guy who has a full time job mm. and taking a couple of photos to routine and fitting mm. it all in. As I mentioned to you before, like I, I, I go to the gym, but it is pushing myself. Like I have a, a goal in the gym whereabouts I want to go back to the way I look. I'm not, I'm not quite happy. Um, I've got a goal on eBay, which is I have an amount that I want to list every every week, which I message Richard and I say, oh, I'm nearly there. I'm, yep. uh, but but it is a solid figure Structure. that will pay all my bills yeah. and more. Yeah. And and then I've I've got other goals as well, like uh, you know my wife, for instance. You know, I I, I could have never imagined of spending over a hundred pounds on a on a on a gift. But my wife's like, she wanted a pair of trainers, so I'm going to get her a pair of trainers for her thingy. And she want, she's always been after Doc Martin, so I'm going to get her a prop. I'm not going to get a second hand. I'm going to take her to the shop, and I want to get her a nice the pair of Doc Martins. The full, yeah. And and that that I, I agree with you. The more busy you are, and the more goals you've got, y- y- and even if you don't reach them, but if you don't reach them, yeah. But if you don't reach them, it doesn't matter because you've no. you've you've pushed to get there anyway. So you're going to have all these rewards anyway. So yeah, yeah. and and it, you you. You're, you're always balancing like you know my i think like i still i still have goals of you know like yourself like i i need to like beck and i were actually want to start walking again we used to do like an hour's walk a day 
you know, like five, like a, a three mile walk just around just to get my fitness up and, you know, just so we can start losing a little bit of weight and, just, and then eventually start jogging it and running it. Um, we're, gonna, we're, we're actually fitting that in. So we did that yesterday. Yeah. Um, we, we, you know, we're starting to do that. I still want to fit in time to do more YouTube because that's definitely kind of gone off a bit. Um, mm. and I still want to stream as well on Twitch. I want to, I, I love like, stre- yeah, I like you're, stream- pro, you're a pro, pro streaming gamer. I am. I know. And I've just not streamed at the moment. I'm just take, you know, I need to fit it yeah. in. That's the, so you're always balancing. And so, <laughs> but I feel like I've got the energy to do those things. It's just about, mm. I, I need to just fit it in. But the more you do in a way that it, and it's all about, like you said, it's about structure. Mm. I think structure is the number one thing. Um, yeah. And I've just seen a comment from um, uh, Cooking Aidens, Chris, like, do you think yeah. getting more work done at home or if you have a unit office space, 100% that's made the difference, I think, yeah. Chris, honestly, I feel like having a separate place work to go, yeah, yeah, separate place to go, because you can just go and then you go, like, you're there, you're, so you're, you're going to work, you're going to yeah. work, and just having that kind of separation. Well, you know, when you come home, it's chill time. You know, you sit down, you relax, you play your games or do whatever you do. Yeah. You know, it's like that. You know, I haven't really, I mean, I mean I've mean, i been out of it really for the last few months. But mm. as James knows, I've been getting back into it slowly day by day. Mm. And now I'm I'm up in the mornings, I'm raring to go. I'm, 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 I've got, I'm planning, planning what I'm going to do and what I'm going to do this time next week and what I'm going to, you know, and, and I've decided I'm going to start running next week because... Partly because of lockdown, but also because of what happened with my brother and losing my brother. You know, I was comfort eating. I was getting down. I was getting sad. I was getting depressed. And I was just, I just eat, 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 eat. And I've grown the size of an house. So I've now said, and I'm going to say it on here, so then I have to do it, that from Monday, I'm going to start uh, running again. I used to go in the gym in the morning, have a swim, quick jacuzzi, off to work come straight back to the gym after work. Me and my wife used to meet at the gym, do two and a half hours in there. I used to start with a three mile run every, every day I went in there and then get on with weights and whatever else we were doing classes and stuff. And then I just injured myself, injured my shoulder. And I just, I just haven't done it since, but say comfort eating, whether it's boredom through lockdown or whether it's with me, depression and, and being sad because I lost my brother. I've just been, all I want to do is stuff my face because it was the only thing that made me feel better, you know? And like I say, you know, she said, we went looking at popped out today and, and she said, Oh, you need a new jacket. And we were trying on jackets. And I said, Oh, I, I, I picked up a medium one. She went, you're not medium. She said, you need a large. And I went, no, be silly. I'll put it on. And Jesus Christ, it, I look like David from uh, David from blooming little Britain. It, this thing was so tight. I might as well have been wearing shiny squeaky pants and a top. It was it was just crazy. So now I'm motivated. Now where I'm I'm listing again, stuff selling again. Now I'm motivated to get fit again. Mm. It is important. I think that's one of the most important things actually, because it's just like speaking personally. Like when I wake up in the morning, it's just horrible to have to wake up and feel not good and feel like you've got to just wear baggy clothes or you don't feel smart or whatever i think that's that's such an unnecessary way to have to start your day with that battle because and it does it it does Mm. put a damper on it because i get up and i first thing i do get up you want to go go and have a wee yeah i walk past we got a full length mirror on our wardrobes and i walk past it and i see my bedding i'm like flipping hell i know christmas is coming but like i don't have to actually put on as much weight as santa claus because i walk like my belly walks past the mirror about two minutes before i do yeah. It it's and, and you look at yourself and you go um, flipping hell is that really me, you know and it and that and then that gets it gets you down again so you mm-hmm. think right oh, I'm gonna go and get something to eat sort of catch twenty two and defeating the object. But it's, um, it's you're gonna have to learn how to moonwalk yeah. then, Richard. I think learn how oh, to moonwalk. I can moonwalk with just, just with a bit past the mirror that way. So then yeah. that way that way that way it never catches up. Just have to walk past like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, question three. Question three is, what is your best sale to date? This might be the most profit or just something that stands out to you. Um, I think, like, the best sale would probably be, uh, like, individual. We've had quite a few, like, good value individual sales. But Mm. I'd say, I suppose the thing that sticks out um, 
uh, well, recently we sold an RC car for 300 quid, which was quite nice. nice. Paid a tenner for. Very um, nice. So that's that was nice. Um, mm. But I suppose it's it's just got to be like the um, just the giant haul of RC stuff that we got a few years ago that yeah. kind of changed the direction for a good couple of years of our business, literally changed overnight what we were doing and selling for literally the next few years nice. um and the only reason it stopped is because we kind of stopped it and now it's just in a few boxes over there. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah, it done you well for a few years yeah well i mean it, it, there's probably still life in it that's probably why we can't like get rid rid of it but yeah, i think yeah. it's it's more of a a thing where we're, we've got to move on now yeah yeah over to you james uh, so, um, coming back to reselling um, and probably thinking more at the beginning, but what free tips would you give to someone starting reselling? So, if they're just about to get in it today, and they come from, you know, whatever the background being, let's say they've got a full-time job um, and you want to give them free tips and they're like, come on, what, what tips would you give me? I'm about to start. I've got a tenner in my hand. A tenner in your hand? A tenner. Wow. Let's go a hundred pounds. I've got a hundred pounds in my hand. What free, <laughs> so what, what free um, tips would you give me? What, what, what free tips would you give me to reselling? I think so, the, so, I think so, so your job. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what, yeah, you know what I, I would say definitely build on the side. That, that would be my number one yeah. thing. Build on the side. Don't, don't jump in with both feet unless you, unless you're literally at your wits end, because I, I, I can also appreciate that people get fed up. Like if you're in a job, I'd say try to, to build it on the side um, rather than jump in with both feet, unless you're literally at the wits end with your job and you're about to smack someone next time you go in, then mm. yeah, maybe you should consider jumping in. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so I'd say that, that would probably be my number one tip. Second tip would be learn a lot of stuff like anything take it seriously like for, for uh, far too long i took it as too much fun because it's so much fun to source this it's so much fun to look for you know treasure as it were and whatnot but you've got to take it more seriously than that um i have found that since i've been taking it really seriously um then i think i've seen better results so what i mean by that is actually learn stuff you know actually learn about something you don't have to you don't have to learn about one niche in particular or anything but just be a sponge take in all the information that you can um but but do it in a proactive way so for example rather than necessarily trawling through like loads of loads and loads of videos because information gets outdated really really quickly um if you watch videos from three years ago, you might find that the prices or the products that are being to talked about are irrelevant yeah. now. So actually use a bit of like, be a bit proactive about your learning and use eBay as much as you can to research. There's now, there's now a research tab, which you didn't use, even used to have a, three years ago. So now there's a research tab on there that you should be going into and you, you should be typing in products that interest you and starting to see what things have sold, what names are coming up, what prices they're selling for, and start member like take it serious, take it like a job. It's very, it, this is all. It, it, don't romanticize it too much. Um, that would be like my my second thing. Like take it deadly serious. Like learn the stuff yeah. because if you learn it, that's half the battle. Um, you know, Definitely. so Definitely. like being prepared. Um, mm. And um, and and i suppose the other thing is to bring structure with you i think that's the other thing definitely because mm. i i didn't have that and i took i took the freedom that you know great power comes great responsibility as they say in spider-man yeah. yeah same thing with this if you have come from a lifetime of structure where you've been working uh you've been told uh, exactly how long to work you're going to work in a day you've been told exactly how you're going to work you're going to, you've been told exactly what you, what's expected of you you've been targeted etc and all of a sudden you you're there on a tuesday at 11:33 a.m. Yep. and you've got a choice whether you go out or you stay in 
yeah. or you, or whether you go and make yourself a sandwich or whether you go for a shower or yep. whether you've got all these choices that you didn't even have. Like yeah. when you were at work, you can't suddenly say, you know what, I might actually fancy a shower now yeah. or I might fancy a cup of coffee, even though you've just yeah. had one 10 minutes ago yeah. because you can at work, yeah. you can't do that. So really treat it. Um, yeah. Treat I, Again, I suppose it kind of leads in with the being, take it seriously, but take that structure that you get at work with you. And I know that doesn't sound fun because you're meant to be your own boss. You're meant to be able to do what you like. Um, that will come afterwards yeah and yeah, if you don't yeah. have structure yeah. you're gonna you're yeah. just gonna you're gonna it's gonna be like you're working you, you, you're just not really gonna know where to start or what to do or yeah. you know you're not gonna you're not gonna make the most of your time and like you said you know i started by selling my stuff when i was made furloughed you know and when you get into it like that you you fight you know you watch people and people that you know people buy clothes or people buy vintage you know and it is by watching videos watching other people you know when you spot stuff at the car boots it's all done by learning off other people and like you know i would never have ever thought about buying vintage stuff i wasn't i wasn't interested in vintage or anything from the good old days but like when i got into reselling some of the vintage stuff i was picking up was amazing and it's it's, it's the item it's you, you you wonder what it's been through in its life you know the times it's been through it's 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 a, it's a good thing and say so, you know you, you sort of learn your niche as you go along yeah um right what well, question are They're we good. next question five um if you could go back in time when you started reselling would you do anything different if so what and why loads um i think <laughs> yeah Every, i do loads. loads. <laughs> I, I honestly feel like things have just started to click now yeah um so i kind of feel like um the, I think the number one thing probably would have been just the, the taking it seriously and the structure of it, like mm -hmm. structuring my day. Um, I, and um, I think that would be the main thing. I think there was, I think everyone will bring something to their journey already. Like I never had the fear of spending money. Like sometimes people are nervous about spending yeah. money on stuff. Yeah. I'm good at spending money. Mm. I can spend <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm happy to take chances, etc. So I didn't have to worry about stuff like that because I know some people when they start, they they have that to learn, as it were. You know, you yeah. start off with a comfort zone and it's hard to break out of that. Mine was definitely more of a, a just, um, I think definitely a structure and focus thing. A mm. structure and focus. I think that would be the thing I I um would do differently. Like from the beginning, be a lot more just be a lot more focused a lot more yeah. take take things seriously mm. i'm not naturally a very serious person yeah and i think I've, i'm like that in my whole life yeah. like not serious at all but yeah, now no. i'm actually becoming a bit sensible. more serious. sensible I, no you i'm not sensible selling, you don't start you no. don't start off with a plan it never starts off with a plan yeah Z, 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 Z's not sensible Z's i'm not, not sensible sen no, I'm, I'm not, not. sensible at all but i'm serious i'm being serious now I think that's the difference. Yeah. My, yeah. My, wife, yeah. my wife says to me that I'm more childish than all the kids. So yeah, I'm like yeah, it. completely. Like yeah. Completely childish. Um, I get eye rolled by my daughters constantly. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's definitely more of a mindset thing about just, you know, um, taking things a bit serious, taking what needs to be taken seriously, seriously. Yep. You know? Yeah. Put your big boy I th pants. I think you, yeah. I think you said a really good saying to me, um, this year, Z. um, yeah. And it was kind of not even necessarily a saying, it was more like just a scenario. And you said, um, you, you kind of said to me, like, when I go into full time reselling, you, you kind of said what you just said there, like, take it seriously. But the one thing that you said is that you can always improve. And, mm. and you said that I can improve. And he says, and I think we were there, let's say, let's say half six in the morning. Yeah. And you said, and you said, but someone is here at five o'clock in the morning. And there is always people that will want it more. And yeah. there's people that will get the deals before us. And it's how determined and how much effort you're willing to put into it. And I I always remember that 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 conversation we had because you I was like, like you're like S H I T, you're real. Like shit, that's real. That's like you I, that's a really you, good <laughs> analogy. I yeah, I think it's because as a community, we're actually a really, everyone's a really friendly community and everyone's happy to, to, you know, we all share our stories. We all share yeah. what Knowledge. we learn. Um, but when you're actually out there doing it, it's a different world. It yeah. is, 
um, just because you see your friends there, um, it doesn't, you know, you, you, you're you there for business. You know, at the end of the day, you're there for business. If you think about it in its purest sense, when you're at a car boot, that's your place of business. Mm -hmm. So you need to be getting down to business when you, when you're, and when you're not, yeah, a hundred percent, I like, you've just got to be so competitive and I, it's not everyone's cup of tea. I appreciate that. But the, the, the stuff that you, the difference, you will see the difference yourself in what you pick up yeah. when, because you're not, because it's impossible to maintain that as well. You know, like not even Ronaldo scores in every single game, every weekend. I mean, and he's the most competitive person probably on the planet. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. But like, even, even he has off days. So you're, you're never going to reach the same level and you will notice the difference in what you pick up during the season. Uh, like you'll know when you've gotten there quick and when you, you put those steps on, you know, you, you know, like, you know that you've gotten there and you've lapped people or you are getting, you're, you're just zooming and not just zooming like a headless chicken, but you're like focused and you're doing the work. You are there to work. You know, when you're, yeah, yeah, when you're yeah. at car boot, it's, it's work. 100%. Yeah, 100%. Mm. It's hard work as well because it's it, it no, no and one mm. one thing that you never see on the element of these videos, right? You will take it all in, you will learn about products, you'll learn about vintage, you'll learn about this. You need bloody hell do you need this stamina because it yeah. is hard graft running through a field. It, it is. It, yeah. you know with a load of stuff on your back and you're walking <laughs> through and you with your IKEA bag and you're going through it at mm. six o'clock in the morning. And, yeah. and then not only that, you've then got to be polite. You've got to yeah. collect cleverly. You've got to have your head get together. Right stuff. You've yeah. got to have your head together. Mm. And you are right. It is work, and it's it, um, you, you know you start you start doing things like going to bed early on a Friday night. Yeah. Um. You start you, you know you start making these changes. You're like, what is going on? You know, you stop drinking on a Friday because <laughs> you're like you're going to the, you know you don't want the fuzzy head. You start, know, you, you start get up in the morning. Yeah, I, I, and it's. 100% it's all those little things that make the difference um mm. and i think when you watch it like a car boot haul uh, you you're just seeing the final result and i think it's incredibly difficult to get across and people record themselves at car boots and even that won't get across like you know how difficult it is and i think um i'm i'm guessing sometimes people record after they've done their initial yeah. like zooming and if they're not the chances are they're probably missing out on stuff if if, Lots. if because that's the thing concentrate on it, filming you're, you're missing no 100 percent will say this I, i've had some amazing pickups this season like i am blow my own trumpet here i've had some fantastic pickups every single one of them has happened like within the first 20 to 30 minutes tops max i mean probably the first 10 minutes of me being there and then yeah, everything yeah. after that is the 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 yeah the, the bread and butter stuff but the you know the 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 really valuable high quality items that, that you dream to find they are there but believe me a lot of times they've literally come out of the boot straight into my hands and <laughs> you know you've got to then and then there's, there's people better than me people better than them <laughs> so you've got to be that in that or be in it to win it and, and i know that sounds really uber competitive and whatnot but it's good it, it, it but is it is it's like it's like any business it's like any big corporate company they're all fighting for the business but that doesn't mean we're not a good same. community because we still yeah. share what we no, find. no 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 we yeah, share yeah. Yeah. but it's just it's just don't, recognizing just don't, share just don't share the bolos <laughs> but you it's all about recognizing that, everything yeah. <laughs> yeah you can share everything because that's the thing yeah, exactly. the, the, the information is there anyway yeah. um but it's it's just recognizing that when you're at the car boot, you know, if you want to find the stuff on the and 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 it's not a secret that you see people consistently finding good stuff. That's mm -hmm. that happens through consistent work. Like you'll consistently find good things. There's a reason why you'll consistently find good things. Yeah. Um. You know. It's no difference if, to to like being in the gym, Rosie. If you're yeah. Yeah. If someone's like, oh, he's consistently list lifting 100 yeah. kilos, and everyone's like, yeah, but I'm struggling to do 80. Yeah. The reason is is that they learn your boot cell, learn which way the new traffic comes in, mm. learn where all yeah. the new stalls are, learn 100%. who are your regulars. So i.e., mm. if, if Larry's there selling selling soaps, 
and Jill's there selling the same dolls that she was at the start of the season, at the end of the season. <laughs> Don't worry about what they've got. Do have a check at them. Yeah. Go and have a check at them later on in the day. And I've learned so much this year about tactics. And there is tactics to getting in there. And I agree with you. A lot of my good pickups, like my one of my favorite pickups this year was like a Sega Mega Drive, uh, and loads and loads of games for a tenner. And it was because the guy had loaded it out of his boot and just put a box there. And because no one could see what was in it, one thing I've learned myself and my top tip to anyone who's reselling would be don't be afraid to lift, i.e. just go and have a look what's inside it. Because yeah. there wasn't so long ago that I was in a boot sale with Z and someone was there with a bag, opened up a bag, and what was inside it? A shed load of Generation 1 Transformers. So yeah. you, if you don't open them, you ain't going to know gonna what's know. inside there. 100%. 100%. And I think the only way around that as well is, say, say for example, the, the, the competitive side of things and being there first, that will definitely that will 100% get you good stuff, okay? That I'm just saying that it will. If you're there yeah. first, then you get you will get good stuff. You're serious. But, but serious. to add to that, though, is one thing that you said, James, about being polite and being nice, yeah. building relationships. Like, I'm, like, talking from the other side. So, for example, when I'm selling at the car boot, because I've made friends with people there that, that have been nice to me, friendly to me, I'm now inclined to, like, look for them when I've got certain stuff. So if I'm so for example, if I decide tomorrow that I want to take in some electronics, you guys aren't even going to see it because I've got a guy that I like, a friend of yeah. mine now that yeah. I know is interested in this stuff, and I will keep it in the boot and offer it to him. And uh, that and it's happens. The other way. It works the other way as well. Yeah, and that happens all the time. Yeah, if you get in with people and you mm -hmm. give them your number and say, look, if you've got anything like this, listen, yeah. just call me. Don't even cart it to the car boat sale. Just call me. You know, that's, or, or yeah. bring it to the car boat, and I'll have it off you hundred percent. And know, that, that's it, that's what happens. A hundred percent that happens. And if you can be the person that you know people think of, and again, that's not easy because again, th there's competition there. Because guess yeah. what? You're not going to be the only person schmoozing. Yeah, 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 yeah you've got yeah, to get your yeah, schmoozing yeah. game up as well exactly. because schmoozing oh, is an art. Yeah, I've had a I, I had a good schmooze this year. There was a woman there that that most people would <laughs> most people would probably not even give her the day of light because she sounds like she smokes fifty a day. And if you've ever been to Bootsa, you probably know her. Z. She she smokes fifty a day, but she, what she is is she's a cleaner for a millionaire. Oh, Vivian. And she, and all my top end stuff like my Bell staff boots, all my nice stuff that I list on my eBay store that. Uh, you're talking my hundred pound shoes, all my high end stuff, all my clothes that I get, anything that's like Solomon that's good makes. She puts it all aside for us. She calls me and she goes, I'm at the car boot show tomorrow. <laughs> and I go, <laughs> and, and my wife's, my wife's listening to this phone call going, I go, look, look, I promise you, I'm not cheating on you. I've just got this woman calling me about stock. It sounds like Mel B from Bo Selector ringing me. But <laughs> she is the nicest woman in the world. Yeah, and good. you know what? Not only schmoozing, but hmm. don't, you know, sometimes you've got to schmooze. You've got to schmooze everyone, Z. And, and she, she's been my best contact this year because mm. she's she's gone every once a month at the back end of it. And mm. she's gone, I've cleaned out. And I tell you what, one thing I've learned about those that are millionaires, they don't walk on pavements because their shoes are worn all around the sides. There's nowhere on the bottom. There's no, like, they walk on carpets. They must literally go from, like, helicopter into a house to house. Yeah. They mustn't touch concrete because no, all their shoes. they rose petals down in front yeah. of them. That's yeah, like, like, their shoes are all like smooth. Of it's amazing. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, definitely. But yeah, if uh, I'll I'll point her out to you one time. So you, I think I'll like, do it. But, yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's definitely, you know, it, it's, I think that's a really good um, point, though, because it's, the truth is always somewhere in the middle. Like I always like to say that. And I, the truth isn't that you've got to just get there early and that's it. It's no. that mixed with building relationships, yeah, you know, 100%. because that is, if you can get those two things, right? Like, you know, if you can, if you can be disciplined and be competitive and you have a way with communicating with people and, you know, uh, building those kind of relationships, then that's going to give you the best shot at consistently sourcing good stuff. And that's like, when you think about it, that is such an important part of the business because, you know, you pick up good stuff, you're automatically motivated 
to to list that stuff that much easier you know yeah. it's a lot easier to list a pair of shoes knowing you're going to be pricing them at 100 pound plus than it is yeah. to be listing a pair of shoes where you got to describe that it, they're worn on the sides and yeah. you've got to list yeah. them for 11.99 plus shipping <laughs> yeah. it, it, mentally it's a it's a different thing right yeah definitely. and i think you know you, you it's like a nice it's like a chain reaction isn't it you, you get good stuff you 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 source good stuff it's easier to photograph because you're thinking of that you know it's, it's a buzz you're, you're more likely to get it listed quickly as well so yeah, yeah, the yeah. whole thing you know the whole thing and not just that when you're selling good stuff you're going to be selling it to the kind of customers that you probably want as well um yeah. look, anyone that sold for a decent amount of time on ebay will tell you that chances are the most of your headaches are going to come at the lower end of the of the market than the higher end of the market yeah um, I agree with that. If, if you sell low-end clothing you're probably going to have more headaches than someone that sells high-end clothing same goes with any other niche yeah. electricals whatever it is people that yeah. that, that, that are generally looking for the good stuff and are willing to pay the, the right money for the good stuff tend overall i think to cause less issues yeah yeah i get that completely um, I just want to quickly say thank you to the. We keep wavering between sort of fifty nine and sixty mid sixties of people in the in watching the live. So I just want to say a big thank you to all you guys. Um, obviously, yeah, we're, we're sixty four. Uh, thank you so much, by the yeah, way. Yeah, thank wow. you. Um, over to your next question. Um, am I? Is it? Is it me? Is it I me? Uh, it is. Wow! Wow! Um, it is. is it number six? Uh, what are your uh, so, oh yeah, yeah, it's it's, oh, it's a good question. Good question yeah. for you. This one's a eh? this will okay. really get you. You might not have an answer for this one. Question in the chat earlier, and I didn't highlight it on purpose. So, oh, okay. so, so this is a good question because obviously you've talked about goals, motivation, and drive. So it kind of comes into that. So, what are your five? What's your five year plan? So from now in five years, you've obviously got the shop. You've obviously got eBay. You've obviously got your website. You're smashing it. But what's your five year plan from now? Well, the five-year plan would be to firstly be debt-free. We're still not debt-free, so we want to be debt-free, and we want to actually get like get some form of property sorted. That's yeah. our, that, you know, even if it's not something that we can live in, just to start to own property. Yeah. So that has got to be our in you know our next within the next five years. Those are the things we have to be. We have to get debt-free, and that. Um, in terms of how we're going to do it. The website is definitely something that we need to get going. It's functional, 100% functional, but it's not. Uh, we've not really been advertising or anything like that. Um, so we're not getting as many sales, barely any sales on it. So it, that's something we want to really push. Um, and then obviously keep the shop running, but then just, just yeah, just, just to keep building on, on, on what we've started. Um, I'd love for eBay to be even bigger and, you know, bring in even more money um but the the those are the main goals i think those are the main goals Good. and i think also i do want a nice car <laughs> come on <laughs> well Lee, but don't, Lee, uh, but don't Lee, drive it don't, Lee, don't drive it to the boot sale yeah. don't, yeah. don't drive it to the boot sale no no yeah. but i do yeah. but i think like the main main goals would definitely be to get debt free and then to, debt free and, you know, and, and own yeah. some form of property man that's, yeah. that's awesome yeah I that's, think I'm, that's... Still, I'm still paying off my wedding from four years ago so yeah <laughs> I, I imagine, imagine you do this, but naturally I'm thinking of the quality items you've been selling recently. Do you put a leaflet inside every item you send for your website? We have been, we have been, yeah. Um, Good. And we ha we have had like people are using it, but again, I think it's just a matter of trust. I think um, like we we have had purchases, but it's been from people who have like physically been in the shop. You know, so you get people that physically come to the shop and then they they obviously are, they trust you or they use it and then just to just to come in and buy the item. So it's it's, it's a trust thing at the moment, really. Um, I think we need to kind of just keep doing it. We've been putting cards in, etc. That's definitely a long game. Um, and just, yeah, the, the other side is just learning, learning more about that side of stuff, because that's a whole different world um like you know marketing and 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 all that kind of stuff that's like a completely different different thing um plus obviously we want the other thing is going to get our daughters um passing their driving tests as well yeah that's, that's an expense yeah, that <laughs> is an expense yeah, but it needs especially to get the done. insurance yeah. the insurance costs more than blooming cars usually 
I just want them. To, I just want to get them their licenses. That's the. Yeah. That's another thing in the next five years that can go into that five-year plan. And make sure both yeah, kids nice. have licenses. Awesome. Nice. Yeah. My my mum was a. My, I think my mum was touch wood. All her kids. She got us all yeah. to pass our tests. And you've got to, haven't you? It's such an important thing to. Yeah. So we, we we're gonna get that sorted now. So um, just waiting for an, uh, the first um, provisional license to turn up and then. Wow. Start lessons. Oh. So yeah, that's another expense. <laughs> cool, we're up to sixty-eight. Thank you, everybody in the uh, uh, that's watching the stream. Oh, um, no. Right, we've got number uh, oh eight. Number eight. number seven's a good one. Oh, seven, yeah. Here we go. What is your favourite reselling channel on YouTube? Oh, that's a good question. Right, you don't you don't have to say. No, no, it. I will answer it. I don't mind answering these kinds no, of questions. Was... What am I enjoying <laughs> at the moment, like the most? <laughs> you know what? I want to be boring and say Brum reseller. Oh, he's a, yeah, yeah, no, he's yeah, awesome. I'm going to be boring and because yeah. surely everyone's got to think he's the. He's just, amazing. He's, amazing. he's just hilarious, isn't he? And he's mm. just yeah. I, I'm going to be boring and say him. Um, he's cool. He's cool. Yeah. I found a good. I found yeah. a good one um, in the last few weeks. His name's Maximus and Co. Is his 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 thing, and he's just he's just great at the car boots. Just really good at the car boats. There's another, another one that's in South End. Another uh, young well, guy. I used to like it. listening to a guy called Be Lucky as well. Be Lucky uh, car boats. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, he's, he's, he's still he, about. He's always he's, in the chats. He's like, he, I enjoyed watching his car boot like manner. I just yeah. something about it. I just yeah. like just leaving yeah, his car boot. He's good. He's still doing stuff. Mm. We've got oh, we've got BCP mm. bum crack pickers in the chat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. nice legend. To see nice to see you. <laughs> Yeah, good Brum question, um, DCP. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I don't, know. I don't think I've checked the oil recently. No. <laughs> yeah. Right, yours, James. Um, yeah. So obviously mm. you have the shop and a massive superhero fan yourself. I'm sure you are. Uh, if you could have a superpower, Z, what would it be and why? Power of magnetism. It's got to be. You've already got, got be. that. You already got that. You already got no, that. No, no, power of mag- <laughs> If I had the power of magnetism, I've always, I've always loved Magneto. Are you not yeah. talking about? Oh, you're not talking about sexual mag- magnetism. No, not sexual magnetism. Magneto oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. would be incredible. I, I could just, see you. I could see you with the actual... helmet, Z, at the boot sale. Yeah, no, but I see what you do. No, I can see around, it. Just... I can see it. No, I can see it. Z's at the boot sale. No, and, and, and no, 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 no. All the cars are coming in, and he's going. Yeah, you're coming to me. Uh, you're coming to me. Yeah, uh, go you're away. coming to me. Go away. Go away. <laughs> Open the boot. Get yeah, the stock yeah. out. Just, just see you later. Just t- just split the car in half. Just, <laughs> just split it in half. I wouldn't yeah. even mess. I just wouldn't even mess. Like, <laughs> you wouldn't even have to bother. You just float above it and just say, "Well, yeah, right, I'll, just... I'll have that. I'll have that. I'll have that, uh, that VCR VHS player. I'll have that one. I'll have that." Uh, oh, there's the you. cast speakers lifted above. My. Yeah, <laughs> Oh, amazing. Oh, amazing, mate. Amazing. Good shout. He, he is a, he's a legend, Magneto. I love Magneto. Oh, he's amazing, isn't he? Well, I really yeah. liked, you know, uh, X-Men First Class. Yeah. Mm. I really liked, um, was it Michael Fassbender, Mark, isn't it? Michael Fassbender, yeah, he was good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was phenomenal in that. That was, and, and um, was it um, Kevin Bacon as the bad guy? Just yeah, right. brilliant. That was such a good movie. I really enjoyed it. Mm. I know people aren't super fans, but I love that movie. Yeah, really yeah, good. Yeah, um, definitely um right so number nine is what is your all-time favorite horror movie it's not technically a horror i suppose but it's a sci-fi horror a, a, i would say alien yeah aliens oh, alien nice. would be because that's my favorite movie so i always say like that that as my um i've got to say i do have a soft spot also for event horizon that's an amazing film. I, yeah. I I used to have Samuel L. Jackson's mm. flight suit from that. His actual flight, you know, the flight suits they got with the little plastic, the little cards and that in them. Event Horizon. Samuel L. Jackson wasn't in Event Horizon. Well, uh, been... Sorry, Lawrence Fishburne. Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah, 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 Lawrence yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. That don't uh, that Lawrence Fishburne gets the ump when people get him confused with Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Not surprising. But <laughs> yeah, that that anything you used to have a merch from that, like actual yeah. prop from that movie. That's awesome. Yeah, I'd so I'd, I'd mm. Lawrence Fishburne's yeah, uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully Samuel L. Jackson might be watching this. Yeah, yeah. Um <laughs> But yeah, but yeah no, I used to I used to have his um I think he was Captain Miller, wasn't he, in it? Yeah. 
Yeah, and I I had his actual jumpsuit with all the oh, wow. spacey cards in, and all, oh, it was amazing. But oh, that's amazing. I can't remember how much I sold it for. I think it was five hundred and something quid. But like, is that it? That yeah, sounds I, cheap for something got, like that. I think I bought it for about hundred and just about about hundred quid. I got it really wow. cheap. I nicked it in an auction. But my brother used to have. Um, he had some of the the panels. The the, the uh, you know inside. The, the middle of the event horizon with the ball thing. Yeah, yeah. He had, he had one of the one of them big panels from that. Oh wow! So that was wow. cool. Yeah. So yeah, that's an awesome movie. What's yeah. your favourite um, horror character, James? Hmm. Uh, this, this, this. I'd be torn because I, if it, if it was to go from my dad's favourite and probably my favourite, it would mm. be very similar to Z's, but it would be Predator. Yeah. Um, oh. I just feel like that film says so much and mm. I just love because I'm a cosplayer. There's what if I could have any money in the world and have and have an outfit because I, I, I've seen the predators up close. I'd love to have a predator suit. Yeah, they are cool. um, but the nicest guy I ever met, which I told you out of all the horror films <laughs> and that I have a lot of respect for is Jason. Obviously, yeah. when I met him at the Comic Con, he was on his way out of the door. Must have taken him 20 minutes to get to the end of the door. He's just about to go in his car. And I said, oh, you're coming in tomorrow. And then he held my hand. These hands like this. And my hand's yeah. like a little finger inside. It's massive. Yeah, yeah. Took me all the way to his stall, signed my stuff. And he just said, he's so grateful for the fans. And from there onwards, like, I've always had a super respect for Jason. I love the film anyway, yeah. but he's just yeah. a... Yeah quality guy oh, i think i think oh. will pleasant valley pick has got a good one where with the the shining that's a solid oh horror. yeah it's a good Th that's more like a psychological horror isn't yeah. it that's yeah. really it's yeah. that is a bit mad though isn't it at the end like the ghosts come out and that i mean mine's got to be freddy krueger i'm afraid because yeah, yeah i yeah. mean i've always been a big fan of his anyway but yeah. obviously when my brother um in 2012 i think it was my phone rang and i'm looking you know my brother I answered the phone and it was Robert England, Freddy Krueger. And he really put am. on his Freddy Krueger voice and said, I'm with your brother, Steve. And then he put on it, went into a Freddy and went, um, I'm with your brother, Steve. I've got him now and you're never going to see him alive again. And I was like, oh, cool. Um, <laughs> just joking about. And I went, That's, uh, yeah, OK, so who is this? And he went, it's Robert England, Freddy Krueger. And then he put my brother on and my Amazing. brother went, up. Oh, I thought you'd like that. Absolutely wow, amazing. Yeah. So, so, I mean... No matter if someone better comes out, it's always going to be Freddy for me, I'm afraid. Yeah, yeah, no, he's a legend. No, not at all. And he's yet another person who appreciates his fans. So, uh, now good shout. Yeah. Uh, question, question 10, the last question of uh, the evening from us, Z. Um, always a fun one we like to ask. Um, Go on. we've, had, we've had some uh, funny replies from our guests. Uh, but if you could sell one item or one type of item inside your store, your shop, and on eBay, what would it be and why? Just one Sorry. item. What do you well, mean? Well, like? not necessarily just one item. It could be you might just say vintage hats. You know, you so you'd have a couple of different. It might be like baseball caps. It might be um, military boots. You know, you can have like a something that's lots of. I, I, but, it's uh, be, I just it's got to be action figures for me then. I know. It's what boring. type of action figures would you be checking out? Are you about wrestling ones or oh, like action? I, I love photographing action figures. I think it would have to be just. I, any really like wrestling ones are fun to do but i think obviously i think i'd probably prefer to sell like the nice necker figures and things like yeah, that just, yeah yeah just love yeah. taking photos i'd love to just you know crack the boxes open and take photos of them and sell yeah i just love different positions but, but they're, yeah. so, they're so detailed now and they do them with yeah. the separate heads i mean yeah. like the ones you've got of like goonies and and of, of uh pennywise yeah they, they just look so real and when you get up close if you used to make a little background on them you would never be able to, they're just amazing. yeah 100 100 72 72 people in there thank uh, you so in, much by the way everyone watching us now oh, in the wow. stream so thank you very much really appreciate you coming and watching this i uh, uh, picked up my first necker figure the other day um i only picked it up because i went in your shop and i, I was tempted to buy one but i but i was like i prefer to have the character of it um and i picked it up for 50p and i've got the gizmo uh, Necker figure oh, sweet. Uh, oh, yeah. from 1990 something or other, but it's a really, really nice model. Um, I had Dave um, uh, resells who buys from you, um, you know, Dave, um, and 
he said, oh, just hello, check Dave. it's not fake. So, hello, Dave. You're my wife now. I, 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 sent, <laughs> I sent him some photos of it, and he was like, yeah, it's official. Because he was saying to me, oh, sometimes people fake them because they can be quite collectible. And, Necker stuff yeah. is massively faked, yeah. yeah. Um, and he was I like, mean, yeah, that's legit. Yeah. But yeah, that's awesome. 50p? Yeah, 50p, yeah. I'll... Uh, okay. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll I'll uh, take a photo of it, but yeah, he's, he's not going anywhere because he was. I, I looked at him and he was like, "Oh, he's there. Hey, ah, speak of the devil," and he appears in the chat, talking. <laughs> uh, uh, literally, like it must. It must be like I knew you were. <laughs> there he is. Hello, Dave. Um, Hello, so, Dave. Uh, you, you, you were talking about him, so he appears. Do you reckon if yeah, we just no, say he, random? He's right though. Again? He's a hundred percent right though because they do get fakes a lot. It's a it's a massive problem, unfortunately. I think but, you did you did a video, didn't you, where you, you showed you can, it? A, a the thing is, you can tell one. the di- it's not even like you know when you know with clothing, it's some sometimes difficult to tell. I yeah. think if you have a fake and a real figure like next to each other, it's night and day difference. It's just yeah, most yeah. people will never have them, and some people have gotten deluded to the point where they think that um, when they're buying off AliExpress, that they're getting an official figure. Yeah, it's just not true. It's They're, not going to happen, is it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's yeah. just I mean, not gonna I mean what, what's happening is like with a lot of different things. There's um, you know, like a, a lot of different things. I think what happens is these these companies use the official factory molds and things, but they're not using the same materials and whatnot, and it, it, yeah, it's not the same. Yeah, definitely, man. Nice. A good answer oh, I... though. Good answer. I can see you selling just them figures and then figures. Oh, if, if I could only sell one thing, I'd just yeah, I'd just be playing that. I just ne- have action figures, figures everywhere. That but I'd have them it. open though, so I could pose them and just yeah, hundred percent. Was that Raptor? Was that Raptor a Necker figure that you had? No, or Jurassic Park? Was that a proper Jurassic Park one? The, the Jurassic rap- Park Raptor. That wasn't a Necker figure. That was an. I think it was Iron Studios. They do they do statues and things. Yeah, it was a genuine yeah, yeah. J- J- JP thing though. That was that a proper was Jurassic Park thing, yeah. That was uh, George got that off me, actually. Yeah, that's right. I remember he, he brought that off you. I mean, yeah. I've got to stop looking at your site and watching your videos because, <laughs> like, it's just murders for me. You know, I keep, keep buying stuff. It's, uh, yeah, it's nuts. I keep seeing things like I thought I spoke to you the other day, didn't I, about a face hugger? A face yeah, you did. Yeah, the oh. earlier one, yeah. Oh. It's a good shout. So, yeah, yeah, no, thank you for that, Z. That's our uh, no, 10 thank questions. You. Your yeah. questions are good, That's man. Cool. They're good questions. They get That's you thinking. Good questions, good answers as well. Oh, good, yeah, yeah, very good answers. So, uh, last week, um, uh, and uh, um, I thought I'd introduce this because obviously we want our Saturday night to almost be like different parts of it. I mentioned yep. that I was going to introduce something and I'm going to introduce the cocktail of the week. So yeah, every week, nice every week that I'm on, that I'm on, I'm gonna make a different cocktail. Um, if you are in uh, Richard's uh, Facebook group, uh, resellers are us. Um, what I'm oh, gonna do is I'm gonna take right. a photo of what I've made, how I've made it, and then if you guys want to make it at home, awesome. Please, you know, put put the photos in there. But yeah. the whole point is, is that we start this now, in a year from now, you know, we'll have different we'll cocktails, all be drunk. different stuff. We'll all be drunk. Uh, but yeah, so this is so I'm I'm basically I'm gonna try and make cocktails to start off with, as if I don't have any alcohol in the house. So I'm gonna build up my backlog of alcohol, and then eventually, because I'll have a Bacardi and I'll have a vodka, then I can start doing mixes. So I'm keeping it simple. Yeah. So on this one, you're gonna need to just have a glass. We're not going anywhere yet, J- R and J. We're not going anywhere yet. No, we're not we're going anywhere full yet. Full screen for, for for this, so we can see James. Yeah, yeah can we put him on? Can we put him on full? Yeah. Can we, don't, can don't, we give don't, him a bit of air time? Yeah, here we go. Oh, here I am. I'm full screen. Here I am. Hi, yeah. Hi, yeah. It's me. Look at me. You can hear I your was, voice. I was, in was intending on doing this with you this week, but obviously, I, when I went to go and get a storage unit for a month, right? They um, so so out. Ju- just so you can see, guys, a glass glass of ice, nice and easy. Everyone can get some ice cubes. They, they sell it at the local spa. F- treat, yourself, yep. treat yourself to a lovely ginger beer. So oh, okay. any 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 ginger beer can be done. Mm-hmm. It helps if you can open it when you haven't got wet fingers. So that's always <laughs> helpful. Um, you can be quite handsome with your ginger beer. Depends on how how strong you want to make your shot. And this, oh, is, this is so, this is sounding delicious or right? ginger beer and ice so, already. So ginger yeah. beer. Now I do recommend this particular brand. Uh oh, go on. they do is it Fentimans. Fentimans, they yeah. they are up. Are you sponsored by Fentimans? Yeah, if you want to come full disclosure. If you want to sponsor us. So <laughs> see, see here that we've obviously got enough for our spirit. Now okay. you can choose any 
dark rum that you would like. But I have a particular favourite that I'd recommend everyone get, and it is Kraken. Kraken, Kraken yes. Kraken is an awesome dark rum. Um, and I'm not going to get. To, I'm not going to start using a cocktail um, measures spoon and stuff thing. like that. Yeah. But this is just a normal spoon inside your house to keep it simple for the time being. And all I'm going to do, sadly, you're not going to be able to see it, but I'm going to pour the the dark rum off the spoon so it doesn't fall in straight away. And what that's going to do is it's going to create my one of my favourite cocktails that I like to drink. And this is called Dark and Stormy. So what that ends up looking like, guys, after you've used your dark rum, is you'll have a lovely cocktail that will look just like that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Dark and that Stormy, guys. Nice. Cheers! You can put you can bring you bring yourselves back in now. <laughs> uh, oh, lovely! Let's go. Look, back looks home. nice. It does look nice. Beautiful. And I, now I can shake it all up, and I, I don't have to. Yeah, it does look good. I was I say I was gonna do I was gonna do that along with you this week, but like I say, they, I went to get this this storage unit, and they didn't have any left, so I've cheers, not cheers, been guys. able to move my stuff out. Cheers, I mixed Jay. it up a bit. I mixed it up a bit. Are, are you looking to get another storage unit then? Only for a month or two, so I can get all this stuff out of here because I want to start building my bar. I'm putting a mini park right. mini in here, and yeah, I want yeah. it. For, I want it for filming the YouTube more than anything else. Are so, you going to have like the big one litre bottles of spirit hanging up? Yeah, I'm going to have the optics. I've got two beer pumps ready to go in. Oh, I've really? Got, nice. I've got an. In, I've got a, a, a thick slab of oak down there that I've bought for the bar top. I've had it. It's been sat down there for probably two over two years, two two and a half three years. Maybe I just because it filled up with stuff in here. I haven't had the room to do it, but I want to get all this out of here. I want to get it to a storage unit for a month or two. Go through it. I want to. I don't want to be doing the DVDs and that anymore. I know it sounds mad, but I've got thousands and thousands of them. I don't want to be doing low value stuff anymore. I want to shift it at low money, get some cash back in. I want to start concentrating on uh, less items, but better value, better profit. Yeah. Um, and that's what I want to do. I want to get it all up there. I want to put a pile for the charity shops, get a load of that gone, get all the mm. decent stuff, get it all photoed, listed and on. And hopefully by the end of the two months, everything, if not most of it, if not all of it, will be gone. And I won't have to, I won't have to bring it all back here. And then I can yeah. use this. This can be just used as a summer house like it's supposed to be. Um, yeah. With a little mini bar in when we have people oh, it's around. It's so important to get the space yeah, back, isn't just it? Yeah. Nice. No, yeah. I, 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 I want to try and... I'm going to leave the bar bit for filming, but I also want to try and design something where I've got a separate bit that I can pan the camera another way and it's a different film set, filming set altogether. You, you, so, can I just say your background and lighting is really nice. I, I was admiring it. <laughs> I've got okay. so many. Thank you, like, Z. I've worked really hard at that. Yeah, oh, yeah I was speaking to you, of course, <laughs> yeah, well, James. Yeah. Well done, yeah. James. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, got, um, I've got so many more lights I want to put up, but like mm. literally I just... Uh, most mm. of it's been up, but obviously these are new. I've put these up in 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 honour of you. Um, yeah, so there you go. Yeah, um, I just want to just mention Will Pleasant Valley Picker about um, yep. the the chin wag Friday chats. I yep. suppose that's one of the things that's unfortunately fallen victim to our new life um, lifestyle, where, and we're still trying to get the balance right at the moment. We just that's one thing we just are struggling to be in the right headspace for but um because when we do the friday chat you know like you guys know when you do a chat like this it's a, it's about the vibe isn't it like no yeah, no one never right. watched us to like learn what to pick up on a friday it's about the <laughs> it was about the vibe it was about the fun and if we're not feeling like like we're often quite drained i suppose on a friday and then we're getting ready for the saturday get i've got to think about getting up early for the car boot sale beck's getting ready for working on the saturday in the shop so it's one of those things that you know it was hopefully not gone forever or anything it's just that you know we're we're working on ourselves and you know we do we wouldn't want to go live and be kind of or just tired and not you know yeah so that's that's the only reason so just no i get that completely so yeah. basically you know in a, in a nice way what you're saying is, is there's no point doing something for doing it you want yeah. to do it right and and 100 respect that see 100 yeah. percent me and me and Richard's a prime example. You know, obviously Richard mm. went through a really crap situation. Obviously lost his brother. Yeah. And we both said, you know, we will do this. We will come back doing Saturday Night Live when it's right mm. because we're not good, we're not here just to do something 
Yeah. You know, we want it to be right. I didn't, I didn't want to do it if my head and my heart wasn't no. in it. You know, and I, I think it depends to... on the kind of show. Like you guys, for example, tonight, it's, it's, it's entertaining. It's really entertaining. And it, it's because you guys have got the right attitude for it to be entertaining. And obviously with what you were going through, like you, Cheers, you know, you're going to say it's, you you can't you can't force a smile can you it's genuine no, and, no. and and you no. know what people can tell can't they they can just tell they can sense it or feel it or something you know people can just not, tell even for a funny. I'm, i made videos of when i was having bad times just so people would see it and and realize that you know i'm not too proud to say i'm having a bad time or I, i'm not pr too proud to come on the camera and talk about it and if i cry i cry at the end of the mm. day I, I wear my heart on my sleeve and and i just want other people to that, that can't talk to people or don't, don't have the outlet of making YouTube, yeah. you know, talk to someone. If it, mm. if it stops one person suffering in silence and, and actually talk to someone, you know, and, or get help, then for me, it's all been worth it. You know, yeah. I always say to people, if you want to contact me, if you, if you're feeling down, you want to contact me, contact me on Instagram, Richie Rich Star, you know, join, join the Facebook page, resellers are us. You can message us through there. Do you know what I mean? James is JR reselling. We, we, we con, we are contactable. So, um, yeah, I, just, I, obviously it was a diff, it, it, it was a difficult time and it still is, you know, I, I still have bad days, but I knew I could only come back and do this when I was 110% ready yeah. and you know, I, I sort of messaged James and I said, look, I think I want to, I want to do it this Saturday. And he oh. went, yeah, whatever you want to do. He said, I'm, I'm, I'm with you all the way. So you're like goose you know, and maverick, aren't you? Yeah. I'm the goose. I'm goose. I'm <laughs> goose. <laughs> oh, <God>. oh. <laughs> but it, no, it's, it's yeah. you know, and, and it is, and, and as well, you know, while it was all going on, the, the community is just amazing. You know, we're a mm. community of resellers, but actually we're a community of friends because I had people messaging me saying, Rich, look, we're thinking of you, sending our thoughts, you know, just we're here if you need us. And it was just amazing. You yeah, know? I, was, I was sending him dick pics there. I was being proper oh, that's, that's very kind of you. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I was being proper and proper. I was like, hey, she is. Hey, hey. Uh, you uh, yeah, that, I just thought. You know what? Like, I've always been help. serious and being nice. I'm, I'm just sending dick pics. And they're not even mine, Z. I'm <laughs> just sending random dick pics. Just random ones you found on your phone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's just ones he's collected. Here we go. Here it's we go. Collected. <laughs> <laughs> but nice. Cock -a, uh, cock a doodle do, Richard. <laughs> cock a doodle too. Uh, TK saying I took two printers, two skyboxes, and a money counter to the tip today. Oh wow! All fifteen to twenty pound value. Don't need the bulky crap in my way. Be brutal. Yeah, yeah. hundred percent. Sometimes you have got to be, and that's that's the decision I've made now. Is you know I was never going to take on another. Um, I was never going to take on another storage unit, but I need the stuff out of here to be able to sort it out and to be able to get rid of it. So you know it's two months. They they do two months. First two months at half price. So I can get a unit cheap enough. Get it in there. Get it sorted. Get it gone. I don't want to be storing loads of being big stuff. brutal is easier said than done, though, isn't it? It's, it it's... is difficult because mm. films are my thing, and mm. like, I'll, I'll go for the DVDs and I go, oh, "No, I'm just going to get rid of them." And I go, "Oh, yeah. actually, I don't know if I've got that one." And then that's going in my. It's like just it. Yeah, yeah. Got, I, think, I, I think I think I think TK is right. Though you do have to be though. It's one of those things. It's not easy to do, but it's important because it. I think it just keeps you. Um, Hi, oh, Amanda. It, it it keeps you focused it's yeah. really important uh, and oh, yeah. again this comes this comes down to being being serious about what you're doing it keeps yeah. you know and it's like one of those things like a clear head you know like like one of the things that like rebecca's amazing at is organizing stuff and yeah. like i've started to appreciate um how important it is to have like an organized like clear workspace and that can affect how much you do it, it's it's like as it just makes such a big difference um you know when you're surrounded by stuff and it it, it can just overwhelm you can't it it could just yeah. literally it can make it far too much a thing on your head it can make it just a heavy you'll have a heavy head and you'll struggle to do basic tasks like little things will get in the way like if you if you've got a couple of bits of stock in the way it can yeah. mentally stop you from doing something yeah. subconsciously almost like it's it's yeah. weird we, yeah. we're you know what as as people we're all very strange we're strange creatures yeah. and yeah, you yeah, just yeah. don't know how things impact on you like 
I mean, the thing is with mine as well, it's literally packed mm. in so tight and it's it's to the ceiling. Wow, you know, yeah. it's literally to the ceiling. I've got my full storage next door. I've got another shed behind, which is rammed. The stuff out of here, I just want to get up there. I want to get mm. it set out. I want it set in here. You know, and I, I say, hopefully, in, if I took one on for two months, by the time the two months ends, I've got rid of all that stuff. So I've got a nice lump of cash to go again on yeah. decent quality gear that I'm going to pay up for. But the rewards are going to be bigger. You know, uh, I say, you know, I picked up that telly for nothing. That's gone for 50 quid. You know, the key, the key, keyboard, you know, it went for 85 quid and it went w- within a day. The yeah. MP4 free player thing that I bought for four quid. You know, it's, a, it's it, you know, it's a little thing, but it had a bigger value. Mm-hmm. And that's what I want to do. I just want to get less things to store and bigger and better things to sell with a, with a better profit. And you know when sometimes people say that they give, um, uh, like I think um, Peter Vinegar Jar has a system for this, and I'm pretty sure uh, Chris from Cookie and Hayden's has got a system for this as well, where you you track how long you've had something, and then yeah. you you attack it. You actually actively, proactively track it. And again, this comes down to being organized. You know, how many of us know when they listed something, you know, unless you've had the foresight to put the, the listing and the purchase date in like the skew box or something, you, or you've got a system where you put the date down when you pick something up, then a hundred percent, I think it's really important to know when you've gotten something, when, when something, how, how much time have you given this product on your virtual shop floor yeah, yeah, you know yeah. and well, if pete, it's not pete, performing you've got to be brutal and just just yeah. chop it down you pete, know pete chop did it, it down. last year and how he came around it because obviously i'm a big fan of sir pete that's why i call him sir pete because he's a legend <laughs> uh, and, and i'd like everyone to start calling him sir pete because he deserves the not, respect not a chance i'm sorry uh, and uh and, and i like and pete he, he, he <laughs> What, what he did is he did a really good he did a, it was yeah. almost on his lives in his video mm. and what he did is he did he counted his sales over three months and he worked out the percentage that sold on month one month two and month yeah. three i remember but, seeing and, that yeah. and it was such a good video that he that's mm. I, I now use on there's there is not one item that goes on my store mm. that doesn't have an sq i know what i paid for it yeah. what month i don't put the date as in like the 23rd or the yeah. 10th if it's in a 10th it's in the 10th bracket yeah. for me but yeah. I put I put I put the amount, the month, whereabouts it's stored, because everything I've got is A1, A2, A3, so I know exactly where it is, because I'm gonna spend two days looking for an item that's worth a fiver. And, and then and then and then yeah, you need to sort that one out. <laughs> and then and then the year, because obviously now I'm now yeah. going, now I'm on my second year of doing it. I'm like, actually, I need to start adding the year. Um mm. and I did it the other day with all my games. I pulled off every last game on my store on my wii games on my playstation 2 games on my playstation 3 games i did it the other day i had um i think it equated to 75 listings mm. anything that was less than three pounds i've chucked into my boot sale yeah bag i've got a little th- uh, storage that's ready for boot sale so i say little you know it, it, you know it's quite a, a lot of crates but I, put, I send everything in crates so it's easy to store sure. and then i've repriced it all because i've looked at what's recently sold and what the average price is and i've just stuck everything at the average price and from that i, I ended up with 50 listings mm. and within three days of doing that i've already sold 10 of them i, I do want to caveat that though with one thing i think it, that is like keeping track of stuff and um, knowing how long it's had a chance to sell for and getting rid of it after a certain amount of time is probably the right system for most people. Yeah. However, there is, there's always exceptions to, to yeah. everything anyone says, there's an exception to that. And obviously, if you there, there are obviously business models out there where people have long tail stock, but they have huge inventory. Yeah. So yeah. if you have that, then obviously we're not talking about you. Um, no, no, no. You know, so yeah. we're talking about people that have got like a, a, a broom cupboard or under the stair storage, or they've put like a, a bit of space aside in the spare bedroom, that kind of storage level, you know, we're talking about the average person who, yeah. who's not necessarily looking to have a humongous inventory of something because yeah. you can have like, you know, when we had the RC stuff, it's all long tail, you know, you have to just list it and just list thousands and thousands. Yeah. 
yeah because you don't know when someone needs you know the uh the the dog bone from a car that was released in 1993 or whatever but that <laughs> someone will need it and they will pay you yeah. for it but yeah. you've got to have it listed but we're talking about like you know someone that just goes to the car boot who wants who needs to keep things fresh and i think like the the best thing about what like pete there did there and like like you just said james is like it gives you and i think pete craigslist hunter was one of the people i remember making a video about this a few years ago as well how he just sends things to auction and gets rid of them after a certain point yeah it, it will keep your interest in your inventory won't yep. it because yeah you'll yeah because be, yeah. you're, you're regularly changing it then there's nothing worse than seeing that it doesn't even matter how good it is after a while mm. yeah there's nothing worse in seeing that same item Saying that, I saw a yeah. video similar to that last week. Faye and Simon, mm. FNS resellers, mm. they took fifty-five, I think, board games and puzzles to the to, uh, and just auctioned, uh, took them to an auction house and let them sell them. Yeah, wow. You know, and they just yeah. said, you know, it's it, maybe it's maybe it's up after fees and all that. Maybe you know they're still getting sort of thirty quid, and it's enough for what they, you know, and it's cleared a massive room. You know, yeah. fifty-five board games and puzzles. That's a huge amount of room it takes up. And it's the mental um, room as well, because now they're yeah. not going to see them when, when they go yeah, into their yeah, storage yeah. or whatever. They're not going to see them and you can't and underestimate. That's what, that's what gets me when I, every time mm. I walk in here, because I go, right, I'm going to list. Mm. And then I look at it all and I go, but where am I going to start? <laughs> I don't yeah. know where to start. So actually, I'm not going to start. I'm not going to bother. Mm. Well, this, this... I, I don't know what to do. This is my problem. Well, this week on Tuesday, where did I go to, Richard? I went for the first time ever, CEX. Oh, yeah. And I took loads of games with me and loads of Blu-rays and things that mm. are just either I was never going to list or that has just not moved. Yep. Mm. And anything that was under X amount of value, took it all there. And then I took the store credit. I bought um, X amount of PlayStation 4 games and I scanned them. I made sure there's profit in them. Mm. And then I've sold them. I've sold, I've sold half the games. Yep. Um, and then I, I, I've now got 50, 60 quid from a load of stuff that was never moving or that's just sat there yeah. just by quick turning because I've used a much more modern title like, you know, the Jedi uh, Star Wars game that came out. I, I went and bought that because it was dirt cheap in their store. I was like, oh, hang on a minute, selling a bit more on eBay. This will be a quick sale. Sold within 24 hours. I was like, thank you very much. So, yeah. And nice. then all them 50 games became money in my store. Um, mm. and, and, you know, I'm lucky that I've got that skill set because I originally started – um, doing uh, reselling through gaming because I've got a really good gaming background, a good gaming knowledge. You you wouldn't think I'd, I'd buy game stuff as I get the boot sales. I never touch it because because I kind of challenge myself to buy other things. Like that's my bread and but I know a lot about it. I know how it all works. But now I'm learning more niches and that's why mm. I've started buying like things like clothes, women clothes, because what I want to do is I want to get into niches where if I go into a charity shop or I go to a boot sale, it's something that everyone will have. Shoes and clothes, the reason why I try, try to get into that, even though it's boring, is mm. that everyone always has, on an average, of five pairs of shoes. Everyone will have an average of 10 different outfits per person. So, Because when they get rid of them, it's something that someone's always going to have. Where what I found with consoles is it's hit and miss, and it's a lot of games that are actually not worth that much. And yeah. with the lockdown, it was a bit of a false reality, because like those games that weren't selling, all of a sudden were selling, but that's not a reality when it comes to the real world. No. Because CEX now have all the care sadly, and uh, you know, mm. like when, when when I'm selling a Wii console at 170 pounds, 150 pounds throughout lockdown, I'm like, oh yes, it's happening. I'm lucky if I get 30 quid for it now, yeah, it's <laughs> so, yeah. and I'm that's sure exactly why I was about. I was, I, I'll just yeah. finish. But yeah. that's exactly why Z was on the money so much that it's good to sponge all that knowledge, yeah. but make sure the videos you're watching are current because it's a prime example what you were getting for games and stuff in lockdown to Changed what they're actually worth now. And that's yeah. just a year. That's six yeah. months, seven months. You know, mm. it's, Changed. you have to be, you have to be always thinking current, current, current. 100%. Always watch the latest videos. Um, who would make the better bond, Rich, Z or James? I haven't we got should, a clue. We should, we should I, I would, all do I, the, um, my I'd name's say, Bond. Or the, yeah. No, the name's Bond. Yeah, let, let's all do it. Go on then. All right. Yeah. Do we have you to guys... come in as well? I think we should come in and go. <laughs> <laughs> slowly, slowly, slowly come in, like no, okay. slowly, slowly. yeah, yeah. So you can start. The name's Bond, James Bond. <laughs> that was good. That was good. That was good. That was that's good. my that's attempt. Good. That's good. 
Yeah. Who's going next, James? I, I, I'll, I'll come in with the movie. Oh, you're going to come well. in? All right, go on. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> the name's Bond. James Bond. Get okay. you. Get you. Shaking off. Off <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. Go on, go on. The name's Bond. James Bond. ASMR Bond. <laughs> oh yes, I think I think we're gonna give it to Z. I think. Yeah, I think, think, oh, I think no, 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 no. Yeah, I think you are the natural, the natural. I think we put on a performance. You yeah. were the Bond. I've got to give it to you, Z. I've got to give it to <laughs> That's you. That's very kind of you. Thank you. <laughs> Definitely. Um, <laughs> let's just get see some of the chat. It came well. Uh, do 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 do. Yeah. I oh, think. Gosh. Oh look. Uh, I think Z. Oh, as okay, movie. cool. Yeah definitely. yeah, definitely. You can always dump some of the collectibles on me, Rich. Oh, Steve Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jack Dobbins is in. Hi, oh, Jack. Hope you're good. Hey, Jack. Oh, Jack. I saw Jack. I see Jack quite regularly at the car boots. Him and oh, dear. Girl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Nice. He's He's Tam, such I a think nice Tam, guy. Tam and Bell's got it right. They've said that me and Richard were the crazy villains. I would agree with that. <laughs> You could see us like laughing and stuff like that, and then all of a sudden, as soon as like the the screen comes off, we go kill him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'd, 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 I'd be knickknack. I'd be knickknack. I'd 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 be odd job. <laughs> odd job. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. bodge job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what have we got? What have we got? I'm just trying to catch up on the chat. Thanks, Carl. We've got Carl in from Canada. You guys clean up. That's, that's a good compliment. Z Bond. Oh, oh, we, oh, oh, we, we, we do. Z Bond, the other two well. crazy villains. Yeah, you're right. Uh, James is more Brooke Bond than James Bond. Well done, Stu. Yeah, I agree with that one. I agree with that Stu's one. always got to come in there with the, with the snazzy comments. Well, hasn't we've it? got Leanne saying, "Hi, oh, anyone? Has anyone seen the new Bond film? I know someone that's seen it." Oh yeah, what did you think? No spoilers. Tell us what you but, thought. First of all, ten out of ten. Oh, nice. super. Uh, I had, I think it was when the movie boys were on. I think someone, I think someone said, "Who's your favourite Bond?" And I couldn't, and, and I've not been able to say this because I don't think you can say who a Bond is until they have done their run. And I've yeah. got to say, my favourite Bond now Daniel officially Craig. is Daniel Craig. Yeah, but I could never that. say it because you have to do your start, your middle, and your end. And yeah. and because if, if if Daniel Craig's last film wasn't up to what he was. He he has finished on what I would call one hell of a, a swan song, wow. and and all I will say, and it's not a spoiler, but when because I went in there and I did a full resell of life Wednesday morning, uh, I, I basically spent the morning uh, Monday. I did normal Christmas shopping. Come on, dads, doing wow. it for the dads. You're, all you're packaged, done all wrapped done up. It. No all way. Done, all done. All done. No all way. Sorted. I promise you. I kid you not, Z. No word of a lie. <laughs> I bought every, all, all the presents for all my nieces, my nephews, and I wrapped it all on Monday. Get him I'm off. Done. I'm done. Sucks. Yeah, no, that's just I'm insane. doing it for the dad. No, because because I'm thinking logically, straight up here, I'm thinking yeah. the truck drivers, all this petrol stuff, I'm like, I'm not going to be in there because I suffer from anxiety and everyone, yeah, I, I don't want that. I went right. in there, took my time, I bought my presents, I thought about okay. it, I'm sorted. No, that's then, no uh, credit credit uh, to so, you for doing so, that. Yeah. But but I've done it for the I've done it for the lads because because we get a bad rap and we've done it. That's Secondly, amazing. is my day with my daughter on Tuesday, mm. so uh, CX day, which you know about, and and I still used it as a proactive day and and got rid of stock and still doing listings, but things that are manageable. And I take my daughter swimming, and then mm. Wednesday I got there and I went, you know what? I've handed him a bl- oh, I've handed him a notice as well this Monday just to oh know, yeah oh yeah up. just on the side yeah, yeah, I, just yeah. on the side just, just, and I went, you know what? I went, I went, I went. My head was going like this. I went, oh mm. God, I've done Christmas. I done this. I said I need to switch off, and I can't afford a psychiatrist. So I went to go watch Bond. I went in there at ten <laughs> o'clock, three hours. The best only time. I ter- turned my phone off. I went on my own. Turned my phone off. Played for VIP seats. Sat there, and I absolutely bloody loved it. Did you go on and your own? Is, See, yeah, I might have to go on my own as well because the thing own. is, I loved like Casino Royale. Not only was an amazing movie but helped me sell a number of home cinema systems at Harrods. Yeah, like literally, crazy. you know, that first scene where he parkours and he's chasing that yeah, guy. That's amazing. Over the that scene is, is you, you would sell systems. Casino on that Royale? Scene. Yeah. 
it's, 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 oh, yeah, it's, 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 Royale. You know when he he breaks into the I, embassy and he's following the guy and they're doing yeah, the following oh, no, but, 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 but I I thought the start of it was about the kill. I thought it was all about how he. Became no, it was no, but you know what I mean. Like the the kill. Oh, that's alright. That's alright. The no, big about, like thing. just just yeah. you know th that bit there don't throw me. i love it from me <laughs> rebecca, rebecca <laughs> just kind of almost ruined daniel craig for me though because she thinks he's awful and she's just the, the reason is she won't give him a chance she's not even basing it on how good the movie because i think she enjoyed casino royale it was a good movie but oh, what she couldn't get past amazing. was she always thinks daniel craig looks like he's pouting all the time yeah, nah, like, he's not. he does actually. Yeah, he does. See, I, and that alleged. almost got me because I was like, he, he, he really does. Honestly, he's always got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's, constantly. That's gonna, like I think, I think, I think, I think the issue is, I, I don't think he pouts. I just don't think he has a top lip, and I Mate. think that's what it is. <laughs> and you know, if you watch it, if you watch it, he hasn't got a top lip. So. Yeah. I think you might be so onto thin. something there. Because like his top lip's so thin compared to what it should be naturally yeah, for his face. Yeah, it Do you think it's a like perspective thing? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and, I mean, and, and, that's the only thing about going on your own. I mean, like you were saying, no, I, there's no way my wife's going to sit there for nearly three hours and watch a James Bond film. Uh, and then I get yeah. to eat all the popcorn and the sweets as well. So there you go. Oh, it could be, could be something. Uh, when, when you get to R and J's reselling thing, you can skip that thing because someone's putting a spoiler in the chat. Not, I'm not, I'm not having spoilers. Uh, uh, don't, don't, we don't, no. don't read it. Don't read no, it. I'm not. I'm not it. Don't read it. Uh, they have a free buy, uh, a pre-buying designated seats here in Ottawa. I love it. Never worry about not getting a seat or getting crappy seats. That's cool. That's what you want, isn't it? Yeah. That's what you want. Uh, where are we? Well Project done. Games well is in. Well done. Uh, nice Pierce to see Brosnan, you, mate. Eh? Nice to see <laughs> you. Yeah, great film. Pierce Brosnan is my favourite, especially GoldenEye. GoldenEye is a, an amazing film. But I, like I keep saying, I love Moonraker because I love Jaws. I, I think, think, think GoldenEye, I think GoldenEye, I think, I think as, I think as a, a growing up lad hitting his hormones she was probably one of the most sexiest females ever she was so brutal and i was like god i i wouldn't mind her strangling and killing oh, me god, that's scary. <laughs> Grace Jones is scary. <laughs> i'd be like yes yes and she's, more. She's, a bit, she's a bit scary uh glad daniel craig hasn't had a load of white veneers added he looks normal yes yeah, nice he's a, he's a he's a he's just a cool bond he's just an absolute mm. cool bond it reminds me a lot about you, Richard. He, he, he is, it, it, honestly, honestly. When I watch it, like I, I, I just think if if you go and do your jogs every morning, man, I think you could be Daniel Craig. I think you could pull it off. You could be the Daniel hopefully, Craig of the resellers. I, I was going to say, hopefully, Craig. hopefully, if I would start my runs next week, by the time I reach a thousand and I've got to jump in the sea. Perhaps I can get a pair of them sky Red. blue shorts. Oh, blue shorts, out, that's it. And, and, and walk out the beach with like a little nice rip washboard rather than floating up like a beer barrel. Please do. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? Be, I'd, rather, I'd rather come oh, out. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just draw it on with a Sharpie, you know. Could, yeah, I might do that. <laughs> but I don't think it's going to be that warm when I have to jump in the sea, unfortunately. I don't think it gets that warm around there. Um, I reckon we've got to get we've got to get you to that thousand ASAP though. Now uh, now we're now we're it, on the nine hundred. We're on the road. It gets there the when run. we get there. I mean, today I've gone up a few uh, subs. I've I'm, I was up to nine hundred and twelve for my for my phone ran out. So we're getting there. People cool. seem to like it. So thank you everybody. Moonraker, great film. Jaws, uh, Jaws best Bond villain. I love Richard Kill. I just think he was amazing. Absolutely. Um, and I, I like the fact that he ended up falling in love with the little. The little blonde pigtailed tailed girl with the glasses as well. Yeah, I like her as well. And like, she's, yeah, she's well. just a bit different. <laughs> just a little bit. Just hot a as bit. hot as female girl. Uh, I think he's on a view to a kill. Is the woman in the jacuzzi uh, yeah. where he goes? Where, where uh, whoever she is, she's the hottest female. But she's only in it a moment. But she's the best yeah. one. Oh, and Jay, like Sean Connery is the best Bond. Yes, Miss Money Penny. Yes, Miss Money. Oh, yeah. very good. I love a bit. Of good, yeah. Sean Connery's great. You know, Roger yeah, Moore. Was good. Roger Moore yeah. was was a good Bond. Oh, Roger Moore was probably my favourite until I've now watched the end of Daniel Craig. If you ask me, prior to watching the film, it was Roger Moore. Yeah, because I, I think I've got him. an issue with Goldeneye, um, and that is, I think I like it more mostly because of the game. The game. The game mm. owned 
that portion of my life. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I didn't really, I wasn't that invested in James Bond prior to Goldeneye. Um, I only went to see Goldeneye because me and my friends were so bad, you know, crazy about the game. Uh, we would play it just all the time. It was, yeah. it was all the time. It's um, a banging game, so it yeah. is a banging yeah, it, game. Yeah, I mean, and it yeah. was for its time, it was a brilliant game. A four player, split yep. screen, Goldeneye, yep. Yep. Golden Gun. Um, yeah, that was the mode and we used to just play yeah. it and play it for hours and hours yeah. and hours. And I think okay. th that made Goldeneye seem really amazing. And mm. I feel if I was to watch Goldeneye now, I wouldn't feel as positive about it as I currently do. So that's why I'm not yeah. going to watch Goldeneye probably ever yeah. again. <laughs> I, 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 I'll, I'll be honest. I think it's probably one of the best banging theme songs as well. Oh, I with think them, I, with them, I, yeah. I, I I look. Is it Shirley Bassey? Tina Turner, it? wasn't it? Tina Turner. Is it Shirley Bassey or Tina Turner? Or, no, it's uh, Tina Turner. Golden Tina Eye. Turner. But, yeah. but honestly, what a banging theme song yeah. when she gives yeah. it some with her pipe. What, what, yeah, did it do do do? Oh, yeah. it's quality. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, see your reflection on the yeah. water. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, it's You're so gonna get so me bad, copyrighted boy. singing like it's that. Get, it's so good. <laughs> it, oh yeah, I, I need to put my I need to put my wig on, don't I? Get your my hair on. off. I'm like, um, with a golden eye. Uh, Dave, Dave, there, Dave, there you go. There you go. Hey, Cates is asking Z a question. Have Have you had any? Has anybody nicked anything from the shop yet? If they have, I don't, don't know. know That's yeah. good. That's good. That's it means you're really in it. good. Z. That's yeah. really yeah. good. Yeah. But to be fair, yeah. if anyone's ever gone to Z shops and know the area, it is one of the most loveliest areas ever. Anywhere, Z. Put it. Yeah. Put it this way. We've got clothes shop down the road that regularly hangs Burberry out. In front of the shop on a rail. Wow! Like <laughs> just just hands nice. it out. Yeah. Cool. Uh, like Roger Moore. Moore was a saint on TV. Though as Bond wasn't tough enough to be believable. That's the thing. Daniel Craig is just so adaptable. Mm. He just mm. he's brilliant. Bit of a fan of Living Daylights music. Dalton was amazing for me, but I feel alone on this. I, I you know what his movies were impressive. Yeah. I think his movies like um. I can't remember which one it was, the title of it, but I, I, I remember watching one of those and thinking, actually, this is a lot better than I expected it to be. Yeah. Um, that's a good question. What's the best Bond song? I don't know. What do you reckon the best Bond song is? I listen to, I do listen to Golden Eye quite a bit because I like, yeah. I like it, yeah. it. It pumps me up. It's a good, but that's the only one I can actually like think yeah, of. I like, I, like, I, like, I think Live and Let Die is a good. Good yeah, yeah and, and I, have, I have got a very soft spot for Duran Duran of You to a Kill. Um, yeah. I think it's yes. just, I think, I think it's such a, such a, because they're such a cool band. Like back then, they were the cool dudes of the bands. Mm. Yeah. Um, Debs is asking, where's Z shop? It's in Garstang. Yeah, Garstang in the UK, in the northwest of England. I, I still okay. think, I, I, even though people didn't like her for <laughs> it, and I still think she was all right in the movie, to be fair. I still think Madonna's song's quite good as well. Um, yeah. I, I, th I think she's she's quite she does quite a good number. And the new yeah. one with Billie Eilish is actually yeah. not a bad song as well. Yeah. When you watch it in a cinema, because uh, because she repeats the chorus three times, and when you listen to the radio, you're like, oh god, that doesn't sound so good. But when you watch it in the movie context, you're like, that's a good bond. That's a good yeah. bond, and she's a good singer. Uh, if you ever does any do you two watch like I listen to Spotify quite a bit. She, um, I, I don't pay for premium basically. And Billie Eilish does goes, don't forget guys to uh, subscribe to Pod uh, Spotify premium, uh, blah, blah, blah. Listen to the daily podcast. When she talks, she sounds like she just doesn't give a shit. But I think when she <laughs> sings as well, it sounds like she's going, I don't really give a shit. Uh, but that's her persona. My, she's my, such a, um, yeah, my such youngest a daughter singer. loves Billie Eilish. She's like, amazing. I, she looks really I've got, to be honest, I'm, I'm like, uh, all I know is the famous song and I like it a lot, but that's all I know. You know, the, the yeah. one that BT have stolen and played a billion times. Yeah. What's it called? Bad guy. Is it? Yeah. 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 I, I like it. It's very catchy. Um, and I like the fact that she has a brother called Phineas because I think that's a fantastic. Yeah, name. That's a cool name, that sounds like someone who, that sounds like someone who should be in the matrix. Phineas and Ferb. Phineas and Ferb. Yeah. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, but there's some good. I, I mean, I even like Sam Smith's song. I, I even liked his writings on the wall. I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, you know, I, 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 I can say 
there's not many Bond songs I don't really like. If I had a CD of all the Bond songs, I'd quite happily listen to it in the car. I'll, I'll, ping, I'll ping you on, down, Richard. I've got plenty in the car. I do, I do generally is, like a good one. Uh, Debs is saying, what is these YouTube channel? It's in the description, Debs. I actually oh, remembered to you. put it in this time. I, Get yeah, in there. If you want to subscribe to James or Z, yeah. both their links are in the description. I actually remember this time. I, I don't before. post videos <laughs> apart from Z, and yeah, I hope you've been watching us. Me and Richard have both agreed because of Saturday Night Live, we're going to do uh, Vlogmas. Yes. Are you? Every you day, yeah. We're going to do oh, it. That's going to be tough, guys. But good luck I haven't. I haven't done a video all year time. round. But, but you're going to do Vlogmas. Boom. No, well, go yeah. for it. Chris is doing... Um, He's doing uh, vlog October. October is it? Yeah, yeah it's, it, it's yeah. difficult. Um, it's difficult to yeah. to to do regular, but yeah. Uh, there's so I'm lucky because I haven't done a video all, for like most of the year. Yeah. I can do a tour of my no worries, <laughs> tour of what my setup is. I can be like, what equipment I'm using, what mm. I've done this year. I've got, oh, I've got, I've got my video. Rich is going to be the one Can. who's going to have to pull out the bag. Rich is going to really pull out the bag. I think he's just going to do a video of how I kidnapped James. <laughs> he can drive up here, he take knows me down south. Nice like, right. uh, This is, and then it's just me in, in a cupboard going, oh, day 20, I've not fed him. <laughs> <laughs> Die another day. I, I remember that. Yeah. Mm. I, remember I that. guess yeah. I'll die another day. Yeah. That's yeah. Madonna. Yeah. yeah. That was really, yeah. And you, we, you didn't need to say that. We We could tell. From the, <laughs> yeah. Nailed it. Debs has just subbed to you yeah. both. Oh, thank you very much, Debs. 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 Thank you, Debs. Right. Well, we, we we was actually going to do Would I Lie to You tonight, but now no. we've been on nearly two hours and it's just flowed <laughs> so well. We've loved it. We've we've absolutely loved it. And it um we are gonna sort of finish up now because I, I don't want thank you. Uh, I, I don't want uh, to keep Z longer than we no, have. No, it's to. fine. It's been it's been a lot of fun, and it, and it saves me as well because I, I I was couldn't think all the things I could think of that I just yeah yes. I just couldn't think of. Yes, yes. But the thing is, we wouldn't have been out of it in anyway because it's just gone so well with <laughs> oh, the questions great. and Z. See, this it's does just leave great. me to ask you a massive question, mate. Oh, go on. I would love to have you on again next time when you're on. We won't yeah. do the questions. Would you be up for doing? Would I lie to you? Would I lie to you? It's so hard to think. About. All right, you've got, you've got, you know, you've got, you've got, you've got a month. You've got a few months before we actually yeah. come back on. Yeah. All right. I, t I tell you what. Next time, I will come up with some. Uh, yeah, I need some time to get my head straight to yeah, come up with some, well, so yes. we, we, some good ones. We, we, we find lying so easy. We just come up with. See, I, I well, want to make sure that I pass. <laughs> next time, Zizongs, guys. Next time, time we have him on. He's going to do what I lie to you. Get and you've got there. plenty of time to practice. And I can find a suit as well, says Dave. <laughs> yeah. Right. You don't have to do that. No, you, you don't. Know, we... You know what? I, just on a side note, I think it's not a bad idea to dress up sometimes. You know, I yeah, think that's one thing. Nice. Like, nice. I, I miss not having a suit or a shirt yeah. sometimes to yeah. wear. or smart, yeah. Just smart clothes. I'm always dressed in T-shirt and jeans. Always. Yeah, and in same the winter, thing. I put a hoodie on. You know, yeah. I, I, I think yeah. there's something about that. There's something yeah. about that. Definitely. There's something Definitely. to be said for that. Nice. Yeah. Um, I, I, right, guys. Go on, go on, James. I was about to say, we, the reason why we do this is that we we normally do a week with us and a week with our guests. Yep. And we normally dress casual uh, on the week. But the, what we really want to do more than anything is that at the end of the day, Z, and whoever comes on our, our chats is we're grateful that you come on and want to spend yeah. your time with us. And this Definitely. is just more of a thank you for you more than anything, mate. We want to make you come on and you're not just like, oh, I'm on another chat. We want you yeah. to be knowing that you are no, on I appreciate the chat. It. I you're appreciate on the it's chat. Been, it's, been, it's been really fun, a lot of fun. And I would strongly recommend if anyone gets approached by either of these two fine gentlemen to take Thanks, them bye. up on their invitation. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Honestly, it's been. It's been. The, I will say the questions were fantastic. The questions are what made for me. The, the, yeah, the, the questions were absolutely like a star, Thank or, or night grade nine. I think that's the Lovely. new thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> grade nine gem. Yeah, yeah grade nine. Oh, gem mint ten. Oh, yeah, gem, gem, gem mint nine point five. <laughs> yeah, night's life graded. 
nine point two. <laughs> um, well, I just want to say a big thank you to Z. Thank, thank you. you again, James. Uh, thank you to everyone in the chat. You've been brilliant. You've come up with some great questions. Love reading the comments. Uh, I've tried to highlight as much as I could, um, but it's a it's a full time job just doing that. But thank you for coming uh, and spending time with us. Next week, James isn't coming on. Um, so next week, I'm going to do an auction uh, just as a final little push, just to try and pull a bit more in for my brother's memorial before I wrap that up and get all that sorted. Hopefully before Christmas, we'll have him we'll have him all sorted. But yeah, I'm going to do one little last push. So I'm going to be getting some bits together uh, during the week and next weekend. You know, we we'll come on, we'll still have a chat. We'll see, it'll still be nice. It will still be be uh, a, a, a nice get together uh but i will be auctioning a few bits off just to let you know um i might even put a post up with what i'm going to be auctioning off just in case some of you guys are interested but other than that thank you so much for spending your time with us we've been with us nearly two hours um and it's not fallen below the mid 50s uh for people watching so i really really appreciate, really appreciate that. that and we're up to sort of mid 70s at some stages so that's been fantastic um yeah so same time, 7.30 next week with myself. I miss it. Option. Yeah, James will I miss, miss it. it. He's, you, know, he's, he's, we, you know, he's got other things to do. I'm, got, I, well, you know. if, if anyone's in Lancaster, you're more than welcome to come for a pint. It's Lancaster Music Festival next week. That's why go. I'm off. There and you go. Uh, if you've ever watched any of my videos, the theme song of my song, Boom Shakalaka, the band yep. The Uptown Monotones is actually there, and I'm going to go watch them. And they're one of my best favourite bands so, yep. uh, yeah, I'm going to be showing my love with them Saturday night um, and jumping yep. on stage and singing some songs. Hopefully. So there you go. With a golden night. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. So, yeah, so next week is just me. Um, the following week, we've got another guest. Keep a lookout for the thumbnail. Oh, yeah, we um, have. Yeah, so we've already got the next one booked in. Can I give a clue? Um, Can I give a clue? He's been mentioned. Oh, he's, yeah, he's, yeah, he's been mentioned tonight. So that's the only clue you're getting until the thumbnail comes out. But thank you all. Appreciate it so much. Uh, appreciate you coming and start, like spending time with us every every week you're here. Um, thanks to all the new subscribers and just thanks for, for all the support. Thanks, everyone. And we'll see you again next week. See you later, guys. Bye. <laughs>